five younger siblings or five best friends? I've never had a friend, so five best friends. If I choose to have five younger siblings, my mom will love me the same as she does now that I'm an only child. What? No, I chose five best friends. You really don't know, do you? You have to make five friends. They won't just appear out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, and you better hurry up and find them, because you only have 24 hours to do so. Hey, do you want to be my friend? No, because you don't meet my friendship requirements. Friendship requirements? Really? Yeah, if you want to be my friend, you have to be rich and good looking. You're crazy. How can I make friends? <gasps> I have an idea. Come on, who wants to be friends with me? You won't regret it. I could be a good listener. She's so weird. <laughs> This is never gonna work. Hey, I want to be your friend. I'm also looking for a new friend. Okay, now we're best friends. Hey friend, we only have 24 hours to make another four friends. Yes, and? Hmm. Do you know what happened to the people who chose five younger siblings? I don't even know if that's useful, but... Okay. Good morning. Morning, mom. I made you pancakes. <gasps> Thanks. Actually, I'm not feeling hungry. I'm feeling a bit sick. Are you sure? Just eat one at least. No, thanks. Hey, Amara. Hey. Oh, one second. My mom's just calling me. Aren't you going to answer? Um, no. Anyways, let's just go to class. Okay, class. You're free to go home now. Hey, you want to come mine? Nah, I need to go home. I have a lot of homework to do. Actually, I can just do it at yours. Let's go. Hey, you think I can sleep over tonight? Yes, of course. Amara, your mom's downstairs. She says she wants to talk to you. Mom, where's my allowance for this month? Honey, your dad left, so no more allowance. How am I going to buy food at the canteen? Be patient. Huh? Guess the name of a psychopath or a prince? I'm scared of psychopaths. So, honey, if you guess his name, you'll earn money and your balance will increase. My balance will increase? Oh, only four letters. Um, I guess R. Honey, careful. You can't try to guess the name like that. If you're wrong three times, something bad will happen to you. I can only get it wrong three times, but I already got it wrong once. I'm going to school. Bye. Lend me your phone. A! Hey! The first letter is A. That's good. You guessed the letter. <sighs> yeah, I'm so happy. My balance just increased. Well, now there's only three letters left. You have to guess the name soon. They say whoever's first to complete the name will earn an extraordinary balance. Seriously? Then I have a chance to become rich. Okay, now I have to guess... Can you get out of the way? Oh, sorry. You dropped your book. Liam? That's not my name. It's my sister's name. Give me back my book. Okay. You know that boy I bumped into earlier? Do you know who he is? Oh yeah, he's the biggest nerd in school. He spends all his time studying. Well, he dropped his book and it said Liam on it. Book? Oh, he tells everyone it's his sister's name. I think he's lying. Okay, class. For this exercise, you have to tell me your favorite letter. My favorite letter is M. Yes, so the fourth letter of the prince's name is M. I need to finish this soon. K. It's wrong. Be careful, young lady. If you get it wrong again, something bad will happen to you. Something bad will happen to me, but I need to know the prince's name. No, you don't, because he already goes to your school. He goes to my school? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna guess the next two letters. Wait, you can't just guess. Because if you're wrong one more time, something bad will happen to you. You're right. It's best I find out the prince's name first. Is there anyone at school whose name ends with an M? Why don't you just ask the class? Good idea. I'll go ask now. Hi guys, does anyone's name here end with an M? Mine does. No, it doesn't, Jake. And also, you're not the prince. Oh, come on, babe. Why are you like that? I've asked every single class, and no one's name ends with an M. You again. Why are you always everywhere? I'm looking for a boy whose name ends with an M. No one in the school has a name that ends with an M. What's your name? My name's Rio. But why does it say Liam on his book? Maybe he's faking his name so that no one knows he's the prince. True. 
I really want to guess another letter, but I'm scared something bad will happen to me. Why don't you just find out if he really has a sibling or not? Good idea. I'll follow him after school. Okay, class. The lesson's over. You can go home. Okay, now it's time for me to follow that guy. I know you're following me. Me? I'm not following you. What do you want? I just wanted to look out for you in case someone followed you home. You don't have to make excuses. Just watch out. I don't want to see you following me again. Okay, okay. I'm not going to follow you. Excuse me, miss. Why were you arguing with that boy? We weren't arguing. I just wanted to meet his sister. His sister? As far as I know, he's an only child. He's an only child? Yes, everyone who lives in this area knows this. You didn't know? I had a feeling he was lying. Okay, I'm going to try guess his name. Hopefully I'm right. I don't want anything bad happening to me. Liam. Vote for a safe world or a dangerous world? I vote for a safe world, of course. Why didn't it? It doesn't work like that. Everyone gets to vote and the one with the most votes gets picked. You have to convince everyone to vote for a safe world. Because if this world ends, it's all your fault. Why my fault? Because it's all in your hands. Okay, this should be easy. Surely everyone wants to live, right? No one really wants this world to end. Okay, positive thinking. You can do this. Jake, you have lots of girlfriends, right? Please help me. Help you with what? Tell them to vote for a safe world. I only need a hundred people to vote. Okay, fine. I'll help you. Okay, hurry up, go. I didn't mean now. I have basketball. Can't you just cancel? This is really important. Alright, fine. I'll cancel. Yay! Thank you. Hey, Emma, will you tell everyone to vote for a safe world? Why should I help you? She's my friend. Hey, Jake. Okay, if she's your friend, I'll vote for a safe world now. Tell your friends too. Yes, of course. Girls, vote for a safe world. Thank you so much. Ew, don't touch me. I'm only doing this for Jake. Jake, thank you so much. Because of you, I've got 50 votes in already. Why aren't you saying anything? I've helped you enough. I really need to get to basketball practice. Bye. Wait, can I join you at basketball practice? I can just ask all your friends to vote for a safe world. There's going to be lots of people there, right? Okay, just hurry up. Guys, please help me vote for a safe world so we can all live. I'll only vote if you become my girlfriend. Okay, uh, vote first, then I'll answer. It don't work like that. Answer first, then I'll vote. Vote for a safe world, otherwise I'll get you kicked out of this basketball team. Uh, yes, Captain, I'll vote for a safe world now. That's it, we've all voted for a safe world. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll treat you with some water bottles. Hey, um, can I please have 50 water bottles? Yes, of course. Wait, why is there only 99 people who voted? I swear there was, like, more than 100 people who voted. Here's your drinks. I put them in a box so it's easier to carry. Thank you. Oh, yeah, miss, can you please help me vote for a safe world? Yes, of course. Thank you. Wait, how come the number didn't change? It's stuck at 99%. Is everything okay? Yes, miss, everything's fine. Thanks for the water. I'll pay you later. Bye. Hey, Jake, I'm curious. You also voted for a safe world, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. He helped me get a lot of people vote for a safe world, but he never voted himself. Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I can't, Amara. Can't? Why? It's because I... Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I'm sorry, Amara. I can't do that. Can't? Why? Because I... Because I'm not from this world. Huh? Not from this world? Then where are you from? I'm from space. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. Why isn't anyone saying anything? We're all shocked like you, Amara. We're not going to believe you, Jake, until you show us your spaceship. Spaceship? Why is everyone digging with their shovels? Because we're helping Jake hide his spaceship. Jake, say something! Do you still want to be friends with me, even though I'm not from this world? Yes, of course I do. I don't care where you're from. Okay, if so, come with me. I want to show you my spaceship. Here it is. Huh? This is your spaceship? But it's so small. How do you even fit in there? Oh, there's plenty of space. Trust me. Hey, you guys, you're high school kids, aren't you? What are you doing in school at this time? That's the school security. We need to hurry up and cover your spaceship. Yes, please help me. Thank you guys so much for the help. Hey, Jake, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you come to this world since, you know, you're not from here? Because there's nothing in my world. I like it here more. And I never expected to make any friends, but now I feel like I belong oh, here. Oh, cool. 
Mom, there's already 100 people who voted for a safe world, but why is it stuck on 99%? That's because the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world. But why? Because the votes are very important. Okay, Mom, I'll be right back. I know exactly what to do. Hey, Jake, my mom said the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world, so... Can you vote, please? Amara, I told you, I really can't. Why not? If you don't vote, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I'll vote for a safe world. <sighs> See? Easy. It's not about it being easy. If I vote for your world, my world will be destroyed forever. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all your fault. I'm just joking. Look at your face. <laughs> don't worry, this whole time, no matter what people voted for, both of our worlds will still be safe. As long as no one voted for the dangerous world, of course. I can see my dad's salary. I don't even expect it to be a lot. He doesn't even leave the house to work. <gasps> so all this time my dad's rich? Dad! What do you want? You get one million per month? Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't tell you because I don't want you to be spoiled. <sighs> Who says anything about being spoiled? Every day at school I'm hungry for a snack but I never have any money to buy it. Okay, starting from today I'll give you a thousand pounds a day. Okay, I have to keep your salary on private. Why are you keeping it private? Because I don't want my friends at school to like me just for money. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to school now. Bye. Hi, Amara. Hey. Why is your dad's salary private? Because I want to keep it private. Is there a problem with that? You put it on private because your dad's salary is poor, right? We can't be friends in that case. Bye. What? All right, it's your loss anyway. Okay, Klaus, we're going to be going on a trip to the zoo. Everyone follow me except Amara. Why, sir? Because you're poor. You won't be able to afford the visit. But, sir, I can pay for it. How are you going to pay? You're poor. You know what? What? They said the one whose father's salary is the highest will be the president of the student union. Who said that? I heard the teacher speaking about it earlier. I think Jessica's going to win because her father's salary is the highest. Attention everyone, I will now announce the new president of the student union. Wait, you're announcing it now? Yes, the new president is Jessica. Her father's salary is 150,000. 150,000 a month? Are you making fun of that salary? Get out of my way! Who dared to slap you like that? Some girl in class. Okay, from tomorrow you're putting my salary on public. I don't accept anyone slapping you. Look who's at school. I thought she'd be scared to come back. Yes, Jessica, she should be afraid of you. Me? Afraid of her? Pfft, never. But if you really want to know, this is the last time I'm here. But before I leave, I want to show you something. But before I leave, I want to show you something. What? What is your dad's salary? Exactly, you don't have to pretend like his salary is high. I'm not pretending. Just so you know, my dad's salary is ten times higher than yours. Prove it then. That's right. You can't. You'll see later. Why is this happening? I'm so sick and tired of Jessica's arrogant behavior. My dad's salary is 1 million a month and her dad's only 150,000. What? Why don't you show it to everyone? Because it's not letting me put it on public. I wanted to show everyone that my dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. How much is your dad's salary anyway? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Come on, just tell me. Okay, believe it or not, my dad's salary is 1 million per month. Almost 10 times higher than Jessica's dad, which is only 150,000 per month. Dad! Honey, why haven't you put my salary on public yet? That's the problem. I've tried, but it's not letting me. What do you mean? Does the system have an error or something? I don't know, but people are still bullying me. Okay, calm down. I'm going to find a solution so you can put my salary on public. I really hope you can, Dad. Hey, I got bad news. What is it? Ever since Jessica became the president of the student council, she set a rule that everyone whose dad's salary is below 5,000 has to leave what? the school. What? That's not fair. When do they have to leave by? Tomorrow. This can't happen. Do you know where Jessica is? She's at the cafeteria. Come on. Just so you know, you can't make rules for the school that only benefits you. And who's going to forbid me? Not you, because tomorrow you'll be leaving the school. Didn't you say you were leaving today anyway? No, I'm not leaving anymore because my dad's salary is 10 times more than yours. If that's true, how comes you haven't proven it yet? Be careful because no one will leave the school except you. 
I have to become president of the student council today so I can remove these stupid rules set by Jessica. Excuse me, can you help me please? Help you with what? I lost all my money and I can't go home. Can you lend me some? Of course. Finally, I found a good person. Thank you very much. Since you were good to me, I'll put you that salary on public. Huh? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? So, all this time it was you? Yes, but sometimes the system lags. Hopefully there will be no error again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Finally, I can put my dad's salary on public. That means I can become president today. Hey, Amara. Where's Jessica? I hope she changed the stupid rule she made up. No, she hasn't. Everyone's gathered in the hall. She's making sure everyone whose dad's salary is under 5,000 gets kicked out. We need to go there, now. In accordance with the new rules I've made, starting from today, anyone whose father's salary is under 5,000 needs to leave the school immediately. I don't agree. Amara, you again. You can't stop me. I'm the president of the student council. Sir, I want you to replace me with Jessica as the new president of the student council. And why should I do that? Because my dad's salary is higher than hers. Do you have any proof? Yes, in fact, I'll show you now. What? How is this possible? Well, it's clear Amara's dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. So she will be the new president starting today. What? Sir, you can't do that. And according to what I said yesterday, I'm kicking you out of the school. Since you're the new president, do you want to make any new rules? Yes, I want to change the money rule. Anyone should be able to study at the school, no matter how much money they have. Congrats on being the new president. Thank you. I'm going to the canteen. I'll tell them you'll pay for my food later, since you have so much money. Bye! Hey, wait! Little tomato or adult tomato? Mommy, what does this mean? If you choose the adult tomato, you'll turn into an adult. If you choose the small tomato, you'll be I really want to grow up and be an adult like you. Honey, wait. You can't eat that now. You have to wait 13 hours. Oh, I wanted to grow up quickly. Look, the nerd just entered our class. Why do you always wear those glasses? Aren't they too big for you? You can bully me all you want, but once I become an adult, I'm going to be really pretty. Wait, did you pick the adult tomato? Yeah, didn't you? No, we all chose the small tomatoes. This is so funny. When you're an adult, you can work as our babysitter. That's not funny. You're not the only one who chose the adult tomato. Really? You chose the adult tomato too? Yes. Who would want to be small forever? When we're adults, we can do whatever we like and we'll have our own money. I wonder what you're going to look like when you grow up. You'll probably look like a grown-up nerd. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look beautiful. You really think so? That's never going to happen. Class, for those who chose the adult tomatoes, the age will randomly increase. So, I'm going to grow older randomly? Yeah, you could either become a teenager, a mom, or a grandma. No, I don't want to be a grandma. So, if I eat this, I might go straight looking like a grandma. What should I do? Listen, guys, you know how Amara and David chose the adult tomatoes? Let's steal David's tomato so that Amara will be the only one who looks old. Yeah, let Amara grow up on her own. Besides, she really thinks she's going to look pretty when she grows up. Let's prove her wrong. I have to tell David now. Where is he? I wanted to tell him, but he's not here. Is everyone ready? It's time for you to eat your tomatoes. I'm sure Amara won't be pretty when she grows up. Let's just see after she eats that tomato. You have to eat your tomatoes in a count of three, two, one. You have to eat your tomatoes in three, two, one. So, this is how I look like as an adult? It's all because you ate the big tomato. <sighs> Turns out, I'm not a nerd anymore. But, where are my friends? Everyone who ate the small tomatoes are now in an orphanage. Huh? Orphanage? Yep, that's right. I can't believe it. They all made Dave eat the small tomato and now he's stuck in an orphanage. I have to help him. Use this tomato to help Dave. Is this a small tomato or a big tomato? It's a big tomato. Give it to Dave. Make sure he eats it within 24 hours. Otherwise, he'll stay small forever. Small forever? Yes, you don't have much time. Hurry up and get to the orphanage. Excuse me, may I come into this orphanage? You're not part of this orphanage, so you cannot enter. But my friend's in there. I don't care. You're not allowed in. What am I going to do? I have to quickly give him this tomato. You have to be a part of the orphanage. How am I supposed to do that? Apply to be a teacher. Huh? Teacher? Yes. 
Okay then, I'll try. Hey, can I apply for a job here as a teacher? Oh yes, it just happens that this orphanage doesn't have a teacher yet. Can you start today? Yeah, sure. It's so dirty in here. Oh my god, is that the nerd? How are you so pretty now? You guys used to bully me at school, right? We're so sorry, we all ate a small tomato. Please, if you have a big tomato, give it to us. I'm so sorry I bullied you in the past. No, you guys swapped Dave's tomato to a small one. You're evil. I'm not giving you anything. Where is he? Hey, I know you have a big tomato. Can you please give it to one of our students? He hasn't been able to communicate with anyone ever since he got here. Not able to communicate? Who is this student? What's his name? His name is... Reborn or can't get old? I choose... Can't get old. Why would I want to be reborn? I love my life how it is, because I'm rich. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? What did you choose, honey? I chose not to get old, Mom. Does that mean you can repeat the school year again? Yes, I can repeat it as many times as I like, because no one really knows how old I am. I'm hungry. Hey, where's your mom? Are you lost? You can't help her. Why can't I help this little girl? She said she's hungry. She's a mafia kid. When she grows up, she'll be just like her you father. You can't say that. No one knows. Come on, let's go. You can't bring this child into our house. Do you understand? What? I'm not just going to leave her by herself. Okay, then both of you leave my house now. Gladly. I'd rather leave than leave this kid all alone. Mom, I'm going to school, but before I leave, I wanted to ask, why does your face never age? You look just like my age. Oh my gosh, why are you letting your soulmate date? I'm sure he just wants to waste time until we meet. It'll be fine. As long as they break up when we meet, it's cool. Whoa, he must really like her. It doesn't seem like he's interested in looking for you. He must be. Why would he want to stay with someone who isn't his soulmate? It must be for her birthday or something. And he's getting her a gift. You're joking, right? He's taking this too far. I don't get it. I don't have a boyfriend because I only care to be with my soulmate. So you think he's in love with her then? He must be. I have a letter from my soulmate. I wonder what he wants to tell me. What vote is that, Dad? Today, everyone will vote for you, depending on if they think you're beautiful or ugly. If everyone considers you ugly, you'll be killed. Don't worry, I'll help you with your first vote. Mom, you're gonna vote beautiful, right? I'm not your mom, I'm your stepmother, and no, I'm not gonna vote that. Because your face reminds me of your mom, and she was ugly. Lucy, if you vote beautiful for me, I'll do the same for you. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna vote beautiful? I'm voting ugly. I want you to die so that I can take your boyfriend. Grandma, help me. I don't want to die. Everyone's voting ugly. Okay, honey, be patient. Sometimes life is unfair, even though we do good for others. But don't worry, I'll vote beautiful, okay? Thank you, Grandma. Guys, whoever votes ugly for Amara, I'll give them a hundred pounds. Wow, okay. I voted. Give me the money. Why are you doing this to me? Why are people mean to me when I'm always nice to them? I'm going to start being mean too. Amara, don't be mean. It's not all about how you look on the outside. The inside counts too, and you have a very good heart, so I'm voting beautiful. Besides, yesterday, someone told me that you helped some orphans. Thank you very much. Hey babe, since I'm your girlfriend, can you vote beautiful for me? No, I'm bored of you. If you die, that means I can have a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend? Yes, I've been wanting to break up with you for the longest time. My dad was right. I should have listened to him and left that guy a long time ago. This is my last chance. Sis, please vote beautiful for me. You don't want to lose me, do you? Actually, if you disappear, dad will love me more. So I'm voting ugly. No! What did you just do? Bye, sis. Huh? Choose between a hundred million or know everything? Of course the money. Amara, your boyfriend's waiting outside. Look what you've done. Oh no. Amara, how much is 3,000 times 780? Um, I don't know. 2,240,000. Yeah, that's right. Well done. That's weird. I didn't even mean it. My mouth just spoke by itself. Amara, I need to tell you something. Last night... Lucas slept at your house and you two were studying in your room? Yeah, how did you know that? Because 
I know everything. Class, we're going to have a sudden exam. Whoever finishes first wins a prize. The answer to question one is B. The answer to question two is A. And the answer to question 25 is D. How did you know the answers? Did you look at my notes? No, I just guessed it. Now, can I have my prize? Hey, anyone want to buy some lottery tickets? Yes, can I have number 2, 8, 14 and 16? No way, I won! Mom, we're going to be rich! Police, open up! Each colour has its own discount. I wonder what colour I'm going to get. 3, 2, 1. You got purple. Purple? How much is the purple discount? As far as I know, purple's not on the discount list. I got blue and my discount is 70%. I got pink and my discount is 80%. I just bought an iPhone 16. I got purple. There's no purple color on the discount list. Her discount is probably 0%. She can't buy anything. Ew, right? Why is everyone buying expensive things? Because there will be a competition tomorrow. The one with the most expensive items win. Everyone buys things with their own discount, so today you're going to have to stop buying things. But I don't know how much my discount is. How am I supposed to buy things? I guess I'm just going to have to try and see. It's bad if you don't go to school tomorrow because you don't have any discounts. So you won't be able to buy anything. Don't worry. As soon as my discount appears, I'll straight away go and buy something. Buy something? If you get 0% discount, what can you buy? Flip-flops? <laughs> no way. My discount is on 100%. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't in this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to her? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house is in Amaris, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. 
I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on. Just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Jenny's house. As I expected, because my house is better than yours. But, sir... Okay, everyone, get ready. We'll meet at Jenny's house tonight at 8pm. One more thing, sir. I don't want Amara to come to my house. But I'm also a part of your class. When I say no, it means no. Amara, don't make this a big deal. Just listen to Jenny. It's her house after all. Okay, sir. How dare Jenny not let me go to the class sleepover? Why don't you just go regardless? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Jenny's best friend. And if you really liked me, you wouldn't even go to the sleepover. You know what? You're right. Why don't you replace me at the sleepover? Replace you? But won't Jenny be angry? She won't be angry. Because if there's one less person, she won't be able to do the sleepover. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I said you couldn't come. Plus, there's no one here yet. What happened to your house? I don't know. I just got here and found it like this. Someone must have came to mess it up. It was you, wasn't it? Me? What? No. This whole place is a mess. What am I going to do? Jenny, we're here. Open the door. Do not even think about it. I'm going to count to three and you have to open the door. One, two, three. What class will I get? Why did I get a letter and not a number? I have to fake it. Honey, what class did you get? Class 10, Mom. Well, class 10 is the lowest class. I'm ashamed. Really? If I knew, I would have changed the number to 1. What are you doing in this class? I'm in this class, sir. Your number's 10, right? You think I can't see? You can't be in this class. You have to go to class 10. Class 10? Yes, class 10, which is the lowest class, where the non-important students are. Hi, my name is Rosie. Oh, nice to meet you. Where's our class? Our class is that one, right next to the toilets. Why there? Doesn't it smell? Yes, but they placed us there because our class is the lowest. Rosie, let's go find something to eat. I'm hungry. We can't, Amara, because our class is too low, so we can't buy food. <sighs> this is unbelievable. Hey, you, buy me a drink. Hurry up. Who are you? I'm Leah. In the school, everyone must obey me, including I you. I don't want to. You'll regret saying that. Guys, how come there's no one with class A in our school? Because it's very rare. Wait, class A? But I got class A this morning. Guys, I want to ask something. What does class A really mean? Class A is the highest, meaning that person will be the leader of our school. Seriously? Yes, there should be only one person who got class A in the school. But why do you ask? You're a class 10. You'll never be a class A. So I guess I'm the new leader of the school. I have to show everyone. Guys, look at my neck. I got class A. Whoa, it turns out that Leah's our school leader. Huh, but didn't you say that only one person can get class A? Guys, look at my neck. I got class A. Whoa, it turns out Leah's our school leader. Huh, but didn't you say that only one person can get class A? Yeah, why? Because I have class A too. She's just lying. We all know she had class 10 earlier. 
Yeah, you're just trying to act important, but guess what? You'll never be. Yeah, we all believe we are. She faked her class. Why don't you believe me? Because you could never get class A. Just look at you. Look, that's the girl who faked her class. Yeah, isn't she ashamed? She's still walking around with a fake A on her neck. You guys do know that I can hear you, right? I can't believe this. I don't have any friends left. They all left me because they think I'm lying. Don't worry. Everyone will believe you tomorrow and you'll be the new school leader. Can I really trust the security guard? Hey, I'd like to pay for this water bottle. Sorry, I can't serve you. Why not? You can't fool me. I know you got class 10 and you faked your letter out just so that you could be important. But rules are rules. I can't let anyone with class 10 buy anything from this canteen. Amara, you won't believe what just happened. What happened? They found out that Leah faked the letter on her neck. Because she got nervous and sweaty, so her letter started to fade away. And now she's getting expelled from the See, school. See, that's what I've been trying to say this whole time. She's lying. Sir, I was the one who got class A. How do we know you're telling the truth and not faking it? I can wipe it off, and you'll see that it won't come off. Okay, fine. Here. See? Turns out you were right all along. Yes, we finally found a school leader. Sorry we doubted you. You have to get ready. Get ready for what? We're throwing a party because we finally found our school leader. Be popular or be beautiful? I've never wanted to be popular, so... Be beautiful. Honey, you made the right choice. Right choice? Why, mom? Because being beautiful means you'll be popular too. <sighs> My face still hasn't changed yet. Wait, don't take that makeup off yet until you're sure you've changed. Oh, here she comes. I don't understand why she wears makeup like that. It must be because her face is ugly. Hi guys. You can go away. You're no longer part of our group. But why not? Because you're neither beautiful nor popular, so you have to leave. Hey, I'm glad I found you here. What is it? I wanted to tell you not to go to the prince's dance Prince's party. dance party? Why not? Because they said that the prince wants to choose a future wife during this party. And what's wrong with me going? I don't want him to choose you. Hey, calm down. Surely the prince will not choose Why me. are you even here? You just kicked me out of your group and you're here again? I just came to say you won't stand a chance with the prince. You're hideous. Attention class, all the girls in this class is invited to the prince's dance party. I'm sure he'll pick me because I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. His heart will melt for me. Sir, I want to attend the dance party if possible. <laughs> what are you going there for? Everyone's going to make fun of you. If I were you, I wouldn't be so sure. I hope this works soon. Let's make a bet. Whoever makes the prince fall in love with them first gets him. Okay, deal. Finally, I'm at the palace. It's so beautiful here. Look at Amara. She looks so beautiful without makeup. Yeah, she does. Her face looks so much better like this. We have to be careful now because she's a threat. She might be chosen by the prince. Hello, everyone. Thank you to everyone who showed up. Um, sir, where's the prince? The prince is getting ready to meet you guys. That's cool. I can't wait for him to pick me. Jessica, why are you wearing makeup anyway? I thought we all had to come without. Um, I'm not wearing makeup. This is my natural face. I'm always beautiful like this. I don't regret having a crush on Jessica. She looks like an angel. Yeah, her face is prettier than Amara. I'm pretty sure she's wearing makeup, guys. Are you trying to accuse me? You're just scared of not being chosen by the prince. We'll see who wins. This way, I'm definitely going to lose the bet because she's wearing makeup, so obviously she's going to look prettier than me. Don't worry, you'll win because you came with a natural face. Everyone covering their face with makeup will eventually get caught. How do you know I'll win? Because you chose to be pretty over popular. Yeah, but mom said if I'm beautiful, I'll be popular too. That's right. If you're chosen to be the princess wife, you'll be very popular. Amara, I have news about Jessica. What is it? I heard she threatened to expose the prince's secrets and now he has no choice but to pick her. What? What secrets? Apparently, she's going to tell everyone that he doesn't have a dad. That's what I heard. Okay, everyone, I have made my decision. I choose Jessica to be my wife. But your majesty, she's cheating. She's wearing makeup. How dare you accuse me like that? Really? Well, there's only one way to prove it. Both of you, wipe your face with this so we know which one of you is lying. What? Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Okay, then, you have to wipe your face in a count of three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to wipe my face with this cotton pad to prove that I'm naturally beautiful. Jessica, why are you silent? You have to wipe your face too. 
Yes, Prince. Now, show me the cotton pad you both just used. Sure. Here it is, Your Majesty. Here's mine, Your Majesty. Okay, Amara, your one's clean. And Jessica, your one has makeup on it. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. But I still haven't seen your natural face. I'll choose who my wife will be after you remove all your makeup. So I have to wash my face now? Yes, that's correct. I've never seen Jessica without any makeup. What if she's prettier than me? Jessica won't give up. She'll definitely plan something to get picked by the prince. Does this mean there's a chance she might win? That's right. So what should I do now? Put on this mask. When you do, nothing can beat your beauty. Okay, I'll wear the mask. Thank you so much for helping me. Wait, where'd she go? Amara, I heard Jessica drank a potion to make her look prettier without any I knew she was planning something. What are you going to do now? I have no idea. Wow, Jessica, you're so beautiful. Yeah, my best friend's really beautiful, even without any makeup. You should have showed up like this from the start, because your face is naturally beautiful. You don't need any makeup. Thank you, Your Majesty. Amara, why are you wearing a mask? Why do you think? She's just scared of losing, because she knows I'm more beautiful. Amara, what was your intentions coming here in the first place? To be picked as my future wife? Yes, Your Majesty. Then why are you wearing a mask? I can't even see your face anymore. Maybe something happened to her face. That's why she's covering it. Yeah, I think so. That's enough. Amara, remove your mask now. <clears throat> but Prince! If you don't remove your mask, you have to leave this palace. Yes, if your face is really beautiful like you say it is, take off your mask. Okay, I'll take off the mask. Wait, your face is different. Yeah, you look like a completely different person. If Amara could change her face, I also want to change my face. Okay, fine, Jessica. I'll give you 24 hours to change your face so that it's fair. I can't believe Jessica also wants to change her face. You can't let anyone wear the mask I gave you. Why not? Because if they do, it could be dangerous. You have to find the mask and throw it away immediately. Okay, I'll go get it now. Wait, I swear I left the mask here. Where is it? I have to find it before anyone else wears it. Alice! What do you want? Where's Jessica? I'm also looking for Jessica. Why did my mask disappear from where I left it? I'm sure Jessica took it. Good, I hope she did, so that her beauty can be the same as yours. That mask can only be worn once. Something bad could happen if someone else wears it. Oh no, we have to find Jessica right now before she wears the mask. Jessica? Amara, how did you know I was here? I knew it! You did take my mask! Jessica, take off that mask now. Alice, since when were you on Amara's side? You're supposed to be my best friend. Just listen to me, otherwise something bad will happen. How do you know that? Jessica, please take off your mask now. I have to choose one of you. Okay, I'm taking it off now. Um, Jessica? What is it, Alice? Is my face okay? Your face hasn't changed at all. The mask didn't Ow. do anything. Why is my face suddenly hurting so much? Amara, are you okay? I can't stand my face, it's hurting me. Gosh, why is Amara's face so... Ow, why is my face suddenly hurting so much? Gosh, Amara, why is your face so... Your face is red. What? <gasps> I have to go. What am I gonna do? The prince is never gonna love me like this. You shouldn't have let anyone wear that mask. You! This is all your fault! Look at my face! Hey, drink this. Your face will go back to normal. Okay, thank you. Wait, when you said I'll go back to normal, I didn't think you meant this. Now the prince will definitely not choose me. Calm down. Go back to the palace and show the prince your real face. No, I'm not gonna go. He said he wanted someone beautiful. He will find you beautiful no matter what you look like. Just trust me. Ew, Amara, your face is back to normal. I knew you were lying this whole time. Now the prince will definitely choose me. Actually, Jessica, you're a liar. Alice, what are you doing? You better keep your mouth shut. Jessica's been drinking from this potion to look more beautiful. She's lying. Enough. I know who I'm going to choose now. Who are you going to choose? I choose you, Amara. You do? You do? Why her? Because since the start, she's been the only truthful one. And I've realized beauty is not just on the outside. It's on the inside too. And she's beautiful both ways. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is so unfair. Alice, come, let's leave. Actually, I'm staying here. I can't miss the big wedding. Ugh, whatever. I'm leaving. Alice, thank you for sticking by my side today. It's okay. Sorry for treating you the way I did. I think you look beautiful no matter what. And you deserve to marry the prince. Amara. Your Majesty. 
I'm sorry for taking so long to pick. I didn't know who to believe. It's okay. So, what time is the wedding today? Wait, today? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, do you want to? Wait, for real? Yeah, why not? Okay, let's do it then. Yay, everyone, let's get ready. Class? I don't understand. The class will determine how much you can drink per day. Well, then I have to get the highest class so that I can drink a lot and be healthy. Yes, good luck, honey. Wait, you can't drink until the class appears. Really, but I'm going to be thirsty. Just wait, because I'm sure you'll get the highest class. Sarah, you seem happy. Yes, I got class A, meaning I can drink four liters of water. What class did you get? I didn't get a class yet. Oh my gosh, Bestie, that means you can't drink anything yet. I know, but hopefully it will show soon. Amara, I had everyone get in the class later today. Really? At least that means I can finally drink water. Yeah, but... But what? I heard that the longer it takes for you to get a class, the worse it will be. Well, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Hey, Lily, can you share your drink with me? No, sorry, but I got class B, meaning I can only drink one liter per day. So you don't want to share your drink? Obviously not. I don't have enough. Also, humans need two liters per day to survive. Good morning, everyone. Today we'll be dividing you into groups, depending on what class you got. Yes, we'll be in the same class. I can't believe we only get to drink one liter per day. At least it's better than Amara. Amara, enough. After break, come to my office. Yes, miss. I love water. I feel so refreshed. Guys, can you please stop drinking in front of me? I'm getting really thirsty. That's your own fault because you're here at the canteen. Everyone's going to be eating and drinking. You're right. Why do I suddenly feel dizzy? Amara! Huh? Why am I at the nurse's room? You fainted because of dehydration. I have to get back to class, miss. Oh, no need to rush. Just take a break. Looks like you want to say something. Yes, before you enter class, you have to drink water from this cup. Yeah, but I thought I couldn't drink it if my class hasn't appeared yet. You have to drink it right now. Why did the teacher's eyes turn red? Okay, I'll drink now. Huh? Ranking? What does this mean? It's your family rank, honey. Rank 3 means ordinary family and rank 2 means famous family. What about rank 1, mom? You don't need to know because it's impossible for anyone to get that rank. I'm going to try to get rank 1 for our family. <laughs> yeah. Looks like she thinks I'm joking. I'm going to prove it. I got rank 2, meaning my family's famous. Same. Wow, congrats guys, you've got your family ranks. You haven't gotten yours, Amara? Not yet. Is that normal? Oh my gosh, it's definitely not normal. Maybe your family doesn't have one. Not possible. My family's famous like yours. I'm so miserable. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Can't you see? Oh my gosh, why isn't your rank appearing? Is there an error in the system? No, I don't have a family. That's why it's not appearing. I'm so sorry, Gemma. Okay, class, please get in groups according to your rankings. But, sir, I don't have a ranking. Then you can sit with Gemma because she has no rank either. This is so unfair. Why isn't it appearing? Don't worry, Amari, you'll get yours soon. Yeah, but why is it taking so long? Apparently, only one family gets rank number one. And if they do, they get appreciated whatever they get. Yeah, get. it doesn't seem like I'm going to get my ranking anytime soon. Here, eat this piece of chocolate. It should help you get rank number one in the next hour. Okay, I have nothing to lose. Class, I have good news. What is it, sir? Soon, the person who got rank one will be revealed. Oh my gosh, imagine that chocolate helped me get rank one. I'm so jealous of whoever gets rank one. Guys, I'm the one who will get rank one, and I'm going to prove it. Three, two, one. What class will I get? Why did I get a letter and not a number? I have to fake it. Honey, what class did you get? Class 10, Mom. Well, class 10 is the lowest class. I'm ashamed. Really? If I knew, I would have changed the number to 1. What are you doing in this class? I'm in this class, sir. Your number's 10, right? You think I can't see? You can't be in this class. You have to go to class 10. Class 10? Yes, class 10, which is the lowest class, where the non-important students are. Hi, my name is Rosie. Oh, nice to meet you. Where's our class? Our class is that one, right next to the toilets. 
Why there? Doesn't it smell? Yes, but they placed us there because our class is the lowest. Rosie, let's go find something to eat. I'm hungry. We can't, Amara, because our class is too low, so we can't buy food. <sighs> this is unbelievable. Hey, you, buy me a drink. Hurry up. Who are you? I'm Leah. In the school, everyone must obey me, including I you. I don't want to. You'll regret saying that. Guys, how come there's no one with class A in our school? Because it's very rare. Wait, class A? But I got class A this morning. Guys, I want to ask something. What does class A really mean? Class A is the highest, meaning that person will be the leader of our school. Seriously? Yes, there should be only one person who got class A in the school. But why do you ask? You're a class 10. You'll never be a class A. So I guess I'm the new leader of the school. I have to show everyone. Guys, look at my neck. I got class A. Whoa, it turns out that Leah's our school leader. Huh, but didn't you say that only one person can get class A? Guys, look at my neck. I got class A. Whoa, turns out Leah's our school leader. Huh, but didn't you say that only one person can get class A? Yeah, why? Because I have class A too. She's just lying. We all know she had class 10 earlier. Yeah, you're just trying to act important, but guess what? You'll never be. Yeah, we all believe what? Leah. She faked her class. Why don't you believe me? Because you could never get class A. Just look at you. Look, that's the girl who faked her class. Yeah, isn't she ashamed? She's still walking around with a fake A on her neck. You guys do know that I can hear you, right? I can't believe this. I don't have any friends left. They all left me because they think I'm lying. Don't worry. Everyone will believe you tomorrow and you'll be the new school leader. Can I really trust the security guard? Hey, I'd like to pay for this water bottle. Sorry, I can't serve you. Why not? You can't fool me. I know you got class 10 and you faked your letter out just so that you could be important. But rules are rules. I can't let anyone with class 10 buy anything from this canteen. Amara, you won't believe what just happened. What happened? They found out that Leah faked the letter on her neck. Because she got nervous and sweaty, so her letter started to fade away. And now she's getting expelled from the See, school. See, that's what I've been trying to say this whole time. She's lying. Sir, I was the one who got class A. How do we know you're telling the truth and not faking it? I can wipe it off and you'll see that it won't come off. Okay, fine. Here. See? Turns out you were right all along. Yes, we finally found a school leader. Sorry we doubted you. You have to get ready. Get ready for what? We're throwing a party because we finally found our school leader. Oh my gosh, we have maximum year. Actually, I'm picking the red one. You're not serious. Why? Because everyone picks the green one. That's because everyone wants to live. No one knows if the red one means death. Yes, everyone knows that. How? Um... See? You don't know, so I'm just gonna do it. You're insane. Just know, when you die, I'm using your credit cards. Your sister told me what you did. And what did I do? Why would you click the red one? You're gonna die. Oh my gosh, you guys are such drama queens. You don't even know what happens when that timer ends. Yeah, we do. You're gonna die. <sighs> hey, bestie, can I have your clothes when you die? Yeah, take them. Since you have two minutes left, you should know that I hooked up with your boyfriend. <gasps> you fake bit. There's no point arguing. You only have two minutes left. What is this place? Welcome. It's a great pleasure to meet you. You're one of the few people who selected less time, and therefore, you will be rewarded. Rewarded with what? The power to make everyone do what you say. <gasps> no way. That's so cool. I knew something good was going to come out of this, but what happens to the people who selected more time? They're going to have to wait a very long time before they can receive their powers. But most people die before they get the chance to receive them. Okay, enjoy your powers. Thank you. Amara, you didn't die? What happened? I'm not allowed to say. You didn't die? Look, I'm sorry for hooking up with your boyfriend. What can I do for you to forgive me? I don't know. Maybe jump off a cliff? Okay. Wait! Dad, can you buy me makeup to cover up my birthmark? Makeup? I don't even know about these things. And anyway, you're too young. Are you being bullied at school because of your birthmark? No. Who made fun of your birthmark? Two girls in my class. Their names are Gemma and Sarah. Is that so? They're just jealous of you, honey, because you were born different. Jealous of me? Okay, thanks, Dad. Kids, for some reason, Sarah and Gemma has been transferred to another school. But before they leave, let's all say bye to them first. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Gemma. This is all your fault, Amara. We hate you. 
Dad, I'm going to school alone today. Please don't follow me. I'm so proud of you, honey. You're all grown up now. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I'm going to leave now. Bye. Why are you wearing a mask, Amara? Because... Take it off. Otherwise, I'll make all the girls at school make fun of you. Anyway, we all know about your birthmark. You're so ugly. I'm going to send a picture of you to the class group chat. Did you see the picture Emma sent of Amara? Yeah, that birthmark makes her look like a clown and her parents must be so ashamed of her. Hey, you two, don't speak to her like that. Do you want what happened to Sarah and Jamma to happen to you? They only got kicked out of school because Amara told her dad and snitched on them. Who tells you she can't snitch on you too? Just be careful with how you speak to her. Hey, Amara, come here. What is it? Sorry, I was just bored and your face annoys me. Hey, what's wrong with you punching Amara's face like that? Shut up, you might be handsome, but you're really stupid to be friends with that weirdo. Well, at least being handsome is better than being ugly and crazy. I'm gonna report you Please no, just don't get involved. Amara, your eye is bruised. What if your dad sees you and finds out you're still being bullied at school? He won't find out. Trust me, you know your dad. He's really rich and very strict. Yes, but he's only rich because he's a mafia boss. What? A mafia boss? Yes, that's why I have to hide this bruise. Because if he finds out, whoever punched me won't be alive anymore. Don't even try hiding that bruise. Tell me who punched you, now. I wonder what throne I'm gonna get. Huh? My throne is queen? How come? I'm just a servant at this palace. My throne is definitely going to be queen. My parents are both royals, and I'm the only child. Wait, why does it still say princess? Amara, there you are. What is it, your majesty? Thanks for taking care of me all this time. This crown is for you. But what about Princess Amelia? <coughs> Wait, queen, are you okay? Wake up! Princess Amelia, the queen is gone. What? Why did the queen have to leave when my throne still hasn't changed? What is your throne? My throne is... Queen. Oh. That means my throne is just an error. There can't be two queens here. The queen said that only the next queen can marry Prince Liam. What? Anyways, I have to find out who got the queen's throne and make sure I get to be the next queen. Princess Amelia, Prince Liam came to see you. He says he wants to meet his new wife. Where is he? Hey, where's the queen? I'm right here. I'm the queen's only daughter. Well, tomorrow I'll return to this palace and check out everyone's throne. If you're truly the queen, I'll marry you. Yes. I'm so dead. Anyway, tonight I have to find out who got the queen's throne and finish her off. Wait, why is there a crown in here? And this crown is similar to mine. Here's your drink, princess. I knew it! So you're the one who got the queen throne? Huh? No! The system must have an error! There can't be two queens here, the only queen is you! So why is this crown with you? The queen gave it to me and said I'll be the next leader of this palace and gave me this crown. The queen loves her servant more than her only daughter! Give it to me! Remember, you can't show up tomorrow while Prince Liam is doing the throne checks. Stay here until the morning and don't try escaping. Good morning, Princess Amelia. Hey, Prince Liam. Today I'll be checking everyone's thrones at this of palace. Of course. Huh? Why does your throne still say princess? Maybe the system has an error. It hasn't showed up yet, but I'm the next queen. Who else would it be? I don't have any siblings. I have to check with everyone at this palace. Where's your servant? Oh, she um quit this morning. <sighs> I have to get out of here. <sighs> I can breathe, finally. Help! Who's asking for help? It's probably just the cat upstairs. Maybe you heard wrong. I think it's coming from the attic. No, we have to check. There's dust in there. I don't care. I'm going up there to check. Why isn't the door opening? Oh, right. The key isn't with me. I don't know where it is. Okay, I'm going to have to break it open. Three, two, one. See how much money people have in their savings or see how much money people have in their wallets? The wallet only fits a little, so I'd rather see how much they have in their savings. Hello, can you give me some coins to buy food? I know you have a lot of money in your savings. Why are you still begging? Well, if I did, I wouldn't be here. You can't lie to me. Amara, can you lend me 50 pounds to buy my mum a gift? You have a lot of savings. Why do you keep asking me to borrow your money? And besides, the only reason why you have money is because you keep asking people to borrow you some and you never return them. What? How do you know how much money I have in my savings? 
Huh? Apparently everyone in school has a lot of savings. Hey, why are the police at our school? You didn't know? Apparently there's a mafia boss looking for his lost daughter and her savings are infinite. I know you can see the contents of everyone's savings. Can you please help me find my daughter? Maybe later. I'm very busy at the moment. Sorry. Wait, I never looked at how much savings I have. What color did I get on my lips? I'm curious. Huh? Pale? Why are my lips pale, mom? That means you don't have a soulmate, honey. I don't have a soulmate? That means I'm never gonna get married. Calm down. You can just pretend with this lipstick. Hey, use it. Okay. Does it look real? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. Hi guys, what color are your lips? Yellow, which means my soulmate's cruel. Mine's red, which means my soulmate's perfect. I also got red. I can't wait to meet my soulmate. Calm down, we haven't went through any obstacles yet. What do you mean? You'll see. I have to reapply my lipstick. It's starting to fade away. What are you doing? This is strictly forbidden. It can cover the true color that we received on our lips today. Hey, let me throw it away for you. No, don't. My lips are too pale. So you faked your color? Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh, your lip color looks really good, Amara. Yes, it really does, sir. My lips are naturally red. But during class, you're required to wear a mask. Class, those of you who didn't bring a mask, please take one off my table. What if my lipstick comes off with this mask? Everyone's gonna know that I'm lying. Put on the mask. Okay, sir. Psst. You have to go to the bathroom and put on this lipstick. But what's the difference between this one and the one I was wearing earlier? This one's permanent, so it won't come off with the mask. That's great. Thank you so much. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, why does this look weird? But, oh wells, if it's permanent, then no one's gonna know that I'm lying. Let's hope this works. Why does my lips feel weird out of a sudden? Okay, class is over. It's time for you to take your masks off. I really hope that lipstick was permanent. Amara, take off your mask. Okay, sir. Amara, please take off your mask. Okay, sir. I'm so dead. Whoa, your lips are so red. This means your soulmate's perfect. I'm proud to have a student like you in my class. Thank God he didn't find out I faked my lip color. Thank you so much. You saved me from getting caught by the teacher and now I finally have a lip color. Of course, we always help each other out, right? Yeah, but how come you never show your lip color to anyone? Um, I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to get food from the cafeteria? Why is she changing the subject? Amara, I bought you a drink. Please come on a date with me. I'll take you to a restaurant. Hey, I bought you a teddy bear. Wait, wait. Why are all the boys being so nice to me? It's because of your lip color. They all want to be your soulmate because your soulmate's perfect. I can't believe so many people have a crush on me. Actually, I still don't believe your lip color is original. What else do I have to do to prove it, sir? Try wiping your lips with this tissue. Why is it so wet and smelly? Just do it. Okay. See? Nothing came off. I told you I didn't fake it. This means your lips are real. I'm amazed. Don't you feel there's something strange about the teacher's behavior? No, why are you so suspicious of him? He's just acting weird. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for my soulmate. Bye! Amara, wait! Your lips, they changed color. What? Oh gosh, why are they black? I don't think you should meet your soulmate. Why not? You'll be in danger, because... White flower or red flower? This is the first time I've seen a red flower, so I'm gonna pick it. Honey, pick the white flower, please. But why? Our whole house is filled with white flowers. I'm kind of bored of seeing them. Our family really respect white flowers, so you can't choose anything else. Okay. Wait, don't open the plastic. Why not? Because of the smell of the flower. But I'm really curious how it smells like. No, the flower has no smell, so it's useless if you open it. Okay. Hello everyone, what flower did you pick? We all got red flowers, didn't you? No, I chose white because my mom told me to. Huh, you chose? Didn't you get it straight away? No, I got two options between white and red. You must be special in that case because no one gets to choose. I chose the white flower and it really smells good. Wait, you chose the white flower? That means I wasn't the only one who got a choice. It smells really good. Try smell it. Okay. Honey, I told you not to open the plastic. But my friend did and nothing happened. You're different. Kelly? Kelly! 
Kelly's barely breathing. Call an ambulance. <sighs> yes, sir. Kelly died from inhaling the white flowers. What about Amara? She also has a white flower, but she hasn't died. I haven't smelled the flower yet. My mom doesn't let me. I just noticed this white flower. It smells really good. Quickly, throw it away. Why are you acting like that? Wait, I feel dizzy. Are you okay? Amara, you have to throw that flower away now. I'm not allowed. I'm not even allowed to open it. Kelly and Jesse both died from smelling that flower. You don't want anyone else dying, do you? Hey, let me throw it for you. Mom, do you have to come with me to school? I always go alone. I have to come watch you. It turns out you threw away the flower. Yes, because my friend said it's dangerous. I told you you're different. Anyway, I picked up the flower again. Thankfully, it didn't get destroyed. Thanks. All students are expected to gather in the field now. Mom, I have to go. The teacher needs me. There's been a lot of death because of the white flowers. 20 people have died. 20? But how? We have to do a search and see which one of you has the white flower. Sir, my stomach hurts. I need to go to the toilet. Okay, hurry up. Thank God it's safe here. There's something strange about this flower. I have to prove it by smelling it. I'm really curious what it smells like. I'm really curious what it smells like. Why does it stink? Why do people say it smells good? Turns out people are just crazy. Did you smell the flower? What does it smell like? Do you want to smell it? It smells really bad. Yeah, sure. I mean, nothing happened to you, so I'm sure nothing will happen to me. Wow, it smells amazing. Wait, I feel a bit dizzy. Are you okay? Don't tell me she died. Weird. Why do people say it smells good? To me, it smells rotten. Amara, you need to get rid of that flower right now. Why do you keep telling me to get rid of it? Because it's causing danger to others. We need to burn it. Amara, honey, do not talk to that girl anymore. Mom, why do you keep following me everywhere? And now you're starting to complain about my friends too? She's your enemy, not your friend, because she chose the red flower. But why are you telling me not to be friends with her specifically? What about the others? Because she's different. That's why I'm moving you from the school, so you don't stay close to her. Don't go close to her. She has the white flower. Yes, that flower must be destroyed. No, I'll always take care of this flower, and I'm not going to let you destroy it, because it means a lot to my family. Amara, wait for me, please. I was told to keep my distance from you, so go away. Wait, I want to come to your house. To do what exactly? I want to give you a red flower, since I know you want to do it. My mom won't let you come to my house. Then you can come to my house. Um, you said we were going to your house. What is this place? This is where all the white flowers grow. The only way we can get rid of them is if you yourself pluck them all out. Why would I do that? They have a really important meaning to my family. But can't you see how many people are dying because of them? Just do the right thing so that no one else dies. Okay, fine. But after I pluck them all out, what's going to happen? We have to burn them. Finally, all of us can live again. Long live the red flower. You're truly our savior. Amara, it's important for you to know that because of the white flower, your family was actually rulers of the world. But now, all the white flowers are destroyed and replaced with red flowers, meaning we're all saved. One million or a crown? Of course the one million! What? Why? This crown is so strange. It doesn't even fit. Why did everyone buy a new car? Because everyone chose the one million. Life is so unfair. Hey mom, I'm home. Hey honey, you chose the money, right? Yes, of course. Attention students, tomorrow there'll be a costume party at school. Everyone's supposed to wear a costume. But I don't have a costume. I only have this crown and this dress. The only thing I can dress as is a princess. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Mom, can you take me to school? Yes, of course I can, Your Majesty. You don't even have to ask. Hello, everyone. Your Majesty, what are you doing here? What do you mean by that? Our Queen is here. Everyone kneel down. See what's on my dad's phone or see what's on my boyfriend's phone? I don't want to see what's on my dad's phone, so I'll choose to see what's on my boyfriend's phone. So you chose to see what's on your boyfriend's phone? Yep. So did Sarah, but she doesn't even have a boyfriend, which means she's not going to be seeing anyone's phones. I don't know why she would choose that in the first place. 
What did you choose, Amara? To see what's on my boyfriend's phone. But isn't that very toxic of you? You should give your boyfriend privacy. You can't just go through his phone like that. Why do you even care? Hey, babe. Hey. You want to get lunch? Yeah, sure. By the way, babe, you didn't choose to see what's on my phone, did you? Of course not, babe. Good. Remember the promise we made that we wouldn't invade each other's privacy? Yeah, I know. The more he tells me not to, the more I want to see what he's hiding. Why is his home screen so boring? Babe, how did you get that home screen? It looks so cool. What? You went through my phone? You just told me not to go through yours. Just tell me, please. <sighs> Fine, I use Themify. They have so many home screen options that you can customize yourself. Yeah, so cool. I'm going to go get us food now. Good thing he forgot his phone here. Now I can go through it. Wait, why is there so many pictures of my mom here? Huh? I only have one diamond? That's so little! Don't complain, I got minus two. At least you got one. I guess I'm gonna have to choose to marry a rich man. Although I wanted to be single, but I only have one diamond. Hello, I'm gonna be taking care of your wedding with Mr. Liam. Where did you come from? Liam hired me. He said he can't wait for you to be his can't wife. Can't wait? How old is this guy? Relax, he's 21. 21? He's younger than me. I don't want to marry someone younger than me. It's too late now. You can't cancel the wedding. How are you expecting me to sign this contract without even knowing what he looks like? Mr. Liam requested this and he also wants it to be a secret. That's so weird. What if he's a criminal? Don't worry. I guarantee you he's not a bad person. Now let's sign the agreement. Okay. 10 million? Why don't I have enough diamonds? Now I have to pick the stupid black card. I'm just going to throw it away. It's useless. Are you crazy? Why would you throw that card away? You can use it to buy anything in this world. Didn't you know that? Wait, really? I'm almost late. Excuse me, your card fell on the floor. Oh, yes, thank you. By the way, since you helped me find this card, do you want to have coffee somewhere? Yeah, sure. Thank you for inviting me, by the way. Before I leave, can I get your Instagram? Yes. I mean... Sorry, I can't. I don't have enough diamonds. It's okay. I can give you mine and you can just follow me. That's a really good idea. I'm so glad I met this guy. He's so handsome. Amara, come downstairs. Your future husband's here to see you. Future husband? Oh yeah, I'm going to get married soon. But I don't want to marry Liam. I want to marry the guy from the coffee shop. Huh? This means I can run away from this marriage. Yes! Cover my mouth or cover my heart? Choose mouth, now. Why, mum? Don't you see that big fat mole on your face? It makes you look ugly. Okay, mum. Finally, I can go to school again. Hey, you, why are you covering your mouth? You're so weird. Maybe because she's ugly. That's why she chose to cover her face. <laughs> okay, guys, has everyone found a date to prom? Yes, I'm going with my boyfriend. Must suck to be Amara. She's ugly and no one wants to go to prom with an ugly girl. Can you guys just stop bullying me? Not until you take off that mask. Yeah, take off your mask. I'm curious to see what you're hiding. We promise we're not going to bully you. Okay, okay, fine. I'll take off my mask. Yeah, take off your mask. I'm curious to see what you're hiding. We promise we're not going to bully you. Okay, okay, fine. I'll take off my mask. Wow, you're so pretty. How can it be that you're so beautiful? Beautiful? What do you mean? I have a mole in the middle of my face. Your face is so clean. What are you talking about? Sorry I called you ugly yesterday. How did my mole disappear? Does this mean the power of the mask removed it? Please, can you borrow me that mask? I have a lot of moles on my face. I would borrow your mask, but I only brought one with me today. Just give me that one. Okay, here. Finally, I can lose my moles because I have a beauty competition and I didn't know what to do. Surely you'll win in that competition. You said your mask can remove moles, right? Yeah, but I gave it to Sandy earlier because she has a beauty competition. Are you crazy? That mask can only be used once. If it's used again, something bad will happen. What? I hope Sandy hasn't used the mask yet. Okay, the next participant is Sandy. Thank you, sir. Before this competition starts, please remove your mask. Okay, I'll take off my mask now. Before this competition starts, please remove your mask. Okay, I'll take off my mask now. Sandy, why do you have so many moles? 
What? This mask is supposed to remove them, not make them worse. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. You said this mask would remove my moles. Why did it make it I'm worse? I'm so sorry. I didn't know that the mask could only be used once. You didn't know? You have to be responsible. <sighs> Don't worry. I still have a lot of masks at home. Mom, home. Uh, what's up with your face? What do you mean, mom? Here, have a look. Huh? What? Why do I have so many moles on my face? Did you borrow the mask to someone else? Yes, I borrowed it to Sandy. You what? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the mask now? I don't know. I threw it away in the bin. Well, go search for it before anyone else finds it and uses it. Your whole face will be covered in moles. I've searched everywhere, but I can't find it. Are oh, you searching for a mask? I saw a guy take it from your backyard. What guy? How much can I drink today? Huh? Only one cup? That's not even enough. I'm going to be thirsty all day. You have a whole cup filled with water. Why are you taking tiny sips? Because my allowance is only one cup today. What? A whole family gets 10 liters per day. Why are you different? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll find a way so you can increase your drinking allowance. Thanks, mom. I have to be careful with how much I drink today. Amara, why are you wearing those clothes? Why? What else would I wear? Sport clothes. We have to run. The teacher told Run? Us. I can't join you because I can only drink one cup of water today. But it's an important test. You have to come. Huh? Sir, are we really having a running test? Yes, because the school wants to kick out any student who's considered weak. So, for example, the ones who only gets to drink little per day. But why, sir? Because our school wants to be known for having strong athletic students, not weak ones. I only have half a cup left. I'm not going to drink again until after the run. Are you sure you'll be able to do it? Yeah, how much can you drink today? Five liters. Everyone gets five liters. I don't know why you're different. I feel so isolated. You have to be able to run 10 kilometers. Luckily, I can drink a lot of water. Yeah, we have to keep drinking so we get a lot of energy. Okay, I've drank a whole bottle of water. I think it's enough now. Amara, do you think you'll be able to hold your thirst? Yeah, I think so. I should be fine. Okay, everyone, get ready. The running test will start in three, two, one. I'm so thirsty and tired. Amara, we only have one kilometers left. I feel really weak. I have to drink now. Um, that means you can't drink anymore for today, right? I hope you can survive this, Amara. I can't anymore. I have to rest. Why don't you run? We're having an exam. I just took a little break. You have to go back before anyone realizes. You'll get kicked out Why of the school. Why did you bring so many drinks with you? Can I have one? No, Amara, you shouldn't. Finally, I'm not thirsty anymore. Wait, but the water you just drank is actually... I can know the subject or class. You'll be going to a new school soon, so you'll have to choose what's useful for you. But if I'm in school, I straight away know the class, so I'm going to pick subject. Are you sure about your choice? Yes, ma'am. I chose to know the class. Yeah, I don't think anyone chooses to know the subject. It's good for nothing. I chose subject. What? Those who chose subject will be Claire's maid. Maid? But I'm smart. Why would they make me her maid? Hey, Emily, what did you choose to know? Obviously class, didn't you? Um... No, I chose to know the subject. Huh? From now on, I can't be friends with you anymore. Why not? I don't want to be friends with Claire's maid. This is all your fault, so don't contact me anymore. Babe, you have to teach me the subject too, yeah? Babe, since when were we dating? Since the moment you chose to know the subject. So you just want to use me? Not happening. Did you just reject the most handsome boy in school? I have a present for you. I want to take you out to eat. I'll pay. Shh, Amara's mine. Don't talk to her. What do you mean? When we finish school, you have to come to my house. Sa said if you bring a book that doesn't match the subject, you'll be killed by the ghost of a teacher who used to be in the school. And you believe that? Yes, so many people have gone missing because they brought the wrong book to school. Amara, tomorrow you have to tell me what book to bring to school, okay? No, why should I tell you? Because you're my maid and did you forget I'm the president's daughter? There will be consequences if you don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Mom, apparently I'm Claire's maid now because I'm the only one who can see tomorrow's subject. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Claire's the daughter of the president. You have to respect her and listen to her. Here, take this bag. Make sure everything she needs is in this bag. Wait, so you think it's right that I'm her maid? 
Yes, you should be proud. She's the president's daughter. You can see tomorrow's subject, right? Yes, sir. Why? The lives of your friends are now in your hands. You have to tell them. So they don't disappear like the others. Yes, sir. I understand. Today's lesson is maths. Why didn't you call me this morning? Hurry up and tell me today's subject so I can bring the right book to class. Oh, yeah. Today's lesson is... English. Honey, you took my blush. Mom, I, uh... Wait! Before speaking, you need to know that it's very important that you never lie. Because when you lie, you'll forget all memory of the person you're lying to. Yes, okay, Mom. You caught me. I'll be right back, honey. I'm just gonna get some milk. Okay, Dad. Bye! Huh? Little girl, what are you doing in my house? Go to your house now! You don't remember me? Come on, leave now. Go back to your house. Dad lied. Okay, I'm going to my house. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. You need to give me the money. I can't pay for everything myself. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to your dad. Dad? But I never had a dad. Anyways, I'm going to go to school. Bye. And your mom told you that? Yeah, she told me she was speaking with my dad. Attention, everyone. I want you to meet our new director, Mr. Steve. Hello. It's so nice to finally meet her in person. I can see someone's last drink or last meal. I think the last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm going to eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to fry it online. Do you want to try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, Mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm saved. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see their last meal. Huh? Them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee you my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at their last meal. Huh? Why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello, answer me. Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup. Okay, now keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches, why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. 
Hey, I brought you a bag filled with food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. Wait, so you faked your death? Yes, because... Because we wanted to save Sarah. I think she really died because she got poisoned. So you didn't die because of the lunch I gave you? No, in fact, I went to your house to ask for more food because it was so delicious. Hey, who's there? Shoot, we have to go. Thank God we got out before him seeing us. How are we supposed to save Sarah? She's the president's daughter. If he finds out she got poisoned, no one knows what he's going to do. You think she died because she got poisoned, right? Yes. I have to see her last meal. That's the only way I can find out. Let's go back in there. Oh, yeah, I have to use these glasses first. What's her last meal, Amara? What? What's wrong? It looks like she's eating a lot of different things. But these foods are the same as our teacher and Elisa's foods. Okay, you know what to do, right? Hey, Amara, don't you hate staying at school for this long? I should be asking you this question. You don't have any relationship with our teacher, do you? Me? No. Why do you ask? Because you two always eat the same meals. Are you really suspecting me right now? I thought you were better than this. I feel so sleepy, Mom. Amara, where have you been? It's so late. I was out with friends. Hurry up and go to bed. You have school tomorrow. What food are you making tomorrow? I'm making steak. Yes! Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, there's no school today. Just stay at home and help me clean. No school? Why? I saw the announcement on TV that the president's daughter is dead. Oh no, they found out. Why did she die? I don't know, but two of your friends got arrested because they suspect that they killed her. You mean Emma and Lily? I have to go. Quickly look for Stephanie's heart. Her heart wasn't found? No, it was stolen by someone. Sir, did you? Shh, if you report me to the police, you'll regret it. Make sure you keep it a secret. Alyssa, you have to help me. Help you with what? You ate Stephanie's heart too? I've been waiting for this moment. Me and our teacher both wanted her dead because she's a spoiled brat. What's wrong with you? You've changed so much. I'm going to tell the police. You don't have any proof. Excuse me, miss. Why are you here? We're doing an investigation. I know who killed Stephanie. It was Alyssa and my teacher. I have a recording of them both confessing. I can't believe this. This is all the evidence we need. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I can choose to know the name of people's parents or their age. I prefer to know the parent's name. Sis, can I borrow your hairbrush? Yeah, sure. Hey. Thank you. Huh? Why is your dad's name different than mine? Are we supposed to be siblings? What do you mean? Psst, Amara, please give me the answer to question three. Sir, Sarah's asking me for test answers. No, sir, she's the one who wants to cheat. I trust Sarah more because she's smarter than you. Therefore, I'm giving you a zero You're on only test. doing that because she's your daughter, right? Wait, what? I haven't checked my parents' name yet. Huh? How come both of them are boy names? I have to ask my mom. Mom, you have to tell me the truth. Who are you? Oh my gosh, how did you find out? We have to tell her the truth. So first, your mom was... Choose between 100 million or know everything. Of course, the money. Amara, your boyfriend's waiting outside. Look what you've done! Oh no. Amara, how much is 3,000 times 780? Um, I don't know. 2,240,000. Yeah, that's right. Well done. That's weird. I didn't even mean it. My mouth just spoke by itself. Amara, I need to tell you something. Last night... Luca slept at your house and you two were studying in your room? Yeah, how did you know that? Because I know everything. Class, we're gonna have a sudden exam. Whoever finishes first wins a prize. The answer to question 1 is B, the answer to question 2 is A, and the answer to question 25 is D. How did you know the answers? Did you look at my notes? No, I just guessed it. Now, can I have my prize? Hey, anyone want to buy some lottery tickets? Yes, can I have number 2, 8, 14, and 16? 
No way. I won. Mom, we're going to be rich. Police, open up. What vote is that, Dad? Today, everyone will vote for you, depending on if they think you're beautiful or ugly. If everyone considers you ugly, you'll be killed. Don't worry, I'll help you with your first vote. Mom, you're going to vote beautiful, right? I'm not your mom. I'm your stepmother. And no, I'm not going to vote that. Because your face reminds me of your mom, and she was ugly. Lucy, if you vote beautiful for me, I'll do the same for you. <laughs> you really think I'm going to vote beautiful? I'm voting ugly. I want you to die so that I can take your boyfriend. Grandma, help me. I don't want to die. Everyone's voting ugly. Okay, honey, be patient. Sometimes life is unfair, even though we do good for others. But don't worry, I'll vote beautiful, okay? Thank you, Grandma. Guys, whoever votes ugly for Amara, I'll give them a hundred pounds. Wow, okay. I voted. Give me the money. Why are you doing this to me? Why are people mean to me when I'm always nice to them? I'm going to start being mean too. Amara, don't be mean. It's not all about how you look on the outside. The inside counts too, and you have a very good heart, so I'm voting beautiful. Besides, yesterday, someone told me that you helped some orphans. Thank you very much. Hey babe, since I'm your girlfriend, can you vote beautiful for me? No, I'm bored of you. If you die, that means I can have a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend? Yes, I've been wanting to break up with you for the longest time. My dad was right. I should have listened to him and left that guy a long time ago. This is my last chance. Sis, please vote beautiful for me. You don't want to lose me, do you? Actually, if you disappear, dad will love me more, so I'm voting ugly. No! What did you just do? Bye, sis. Huh? What's my future salary? 50 million? That's a lot. I better put it on private so that my friends don't use me. How much is your salary, honey? 20 pounds. 20 pounds? That's so little. What a shame. I'm paying so much for your school for no reason. It's not for no reason. I'm still learning. I don't want to pay your school fees anymore. Hey, um, what are you doing? Hey, I'm planning what house I'm buying in the future because my salary is 200,000. Whoa, that's a lot. How much is your salary, Amara? Why um, is it on private? 20 pounds. Huh, that's so little. I knew I was much smarter than you. Hey, don't be arrogant. Hi, guys, what's your salaries? Mine's 40,000. Mine's 12,000. Mine's 110,000. What about yours? 20 pounds. Huh, seriously? You might as well just quit school then. Yeah, you're just wasting your time. Why are you guys so rude? Class, please choose a group you want to work with on the new project. Okay, sir. Hi, guys. Can I join your group? You're really asking that? Of course not. Those whose salary is below 10,000 can't join our group. But you don't know how much my salary is. It's on private. Amara, come on. Everyone in school knows that your salary is 20 pounds. Just buy candy with it or something. That's if you can afford it. So, why does it say that I got grade C on my paper? It should say B on here. I heard your future salary is 20 pounds, but how come your grades are so good? I don't know, but can you change it back to B? Sorry, I can't, Amara. Everyone's going to think that I've given you a fake grade. Everyone's so mean. I wonder what they will say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. I wonder what they'll say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. What? Why isn't it working? See, I told you you were lying. Otherwise, you'd be able to put your salary on public. Why isn't it working? I want to prove everyone wrong and let the teacher give me the grade I deserve. Why are you here, Amara? I'm not going to change your grade. But sir, my salary is 50 million. That's a lie. If it was 50 million, why is it on private? I'm not lying, I promise. Just get out, Amara. Why do you look so sad? It's nothing. I've just had a bad day. I know what will make you happy. Here, have some candy. Grandma, I'm not a kid anymore. Just trust me and eat it. Okay, thank you. I really hope this candy isn't expired. Hmm, it's good. Wait, what? How did it just change to public? Pretend to be poor or really be poor? You better pretend to be poor, Amara, so you know who's being sincere with you. Um, that's true, but how do I pretend to be poor? Just tell people that our company is bankrupt. Okay, starting from today, I'm going to pretend to be poor in front of all my friends. Hey, Amara, uh, why are you wearing that bag? Where are all your designer bags? Did you sell them?
Yeah, because my family's company got bankrupt. I don't have any money. That's why I'm using this bag. Well, in that case, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. I was only friends with you because of the money. Amara, I heard that your family's company got bankrupt. Is it true? Yeah, my family's company got bankrupt, so I don't have any money now. Don't worry, Amara. I'm going to give you £5,000. £5,000 for me? Why? Isn't that like all your savings? It's okay, because you helped my family when we were poor, so in return, I'll give you my savings. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Look at Amara's family who's famous for being rich. They went bankrupt, you know? Huh? Are you serious? That's crazy. That means we can't eat at fancy restaurants anymore. Class, in two days, there will be a study tour abroad. All students must participate in this activity, except tomorrow. Why can't I join, sir? I heard the news about your family. I assume you can't afford Who it. Who says I can't afford it? Amara, just give up. You're poor. Marissa's so annoying. She keeps saying that I'm poor, but she doesn't know that this whole time, I've been lying about my family being bankrupt. You lied about it? You heard that? Please don't tell anyone. You're weird. Why do you even come to this school? Isn't it, like, expensive for you now? And why do you wear those branded clothes? Wasn't it me who bought them for you? Oh, you did not just say that. What? She slapped you? How dare she? Yeah, she slapped me. I was so shocked, I didn't even know what to do. That's it. Starting tomorrow, you don't have to pretend to be poor anymore. You have to show them how much you have. Beautiful apple or ugly apple? Of course I'm going to choose the beautiful apple. Who in their right mind will choose the ugly apple? Mom, I just picked a beautiful apple and I'm gonna eat it in front of you. Wait, honey, don't eat that apple. Huh? Why not, Mom? I'm sure if I eat this apple, I'm gonna be beautiful. Because it's risky. Oh, if that's the case, I think it's better not to eat it. Hey, I wanna buy your apple for six million. I'm your neighbor, I'll give you twice as much. Give me the apple. Wait, guys, I'm not selling. Come on, you'll be rich. You're only insisting because you wanna be beautiful. But unfortunately, as I said, I'm not selling. You'll regret this. Today, ten boys asked me out because I'm beautiful. What about you? No one's asked me out yet, but that's fine. I already have a boyfriend. That means you have to improve your beauty. Whoa, everyone in the school is so beautiful. Quickly, throw away the apple you're holding. What's wrong with this apple? It's cursed. It can hurt you. Don't worry. My mom already told me not to eat it. Babe, can you do me a favor? Yes, of course. Please eat that apple so you can be beautiful like the other girls. Okay, okay, I'll eat it. I can't wait to see you look beautiful. I wonder what's gonna happen. You have to wear clothes that matches your color, okay? Mom, calm down, I know. Okay, good. I think you got your color. What is it? Uh, white. Come on, hurry up and change. You can't break the rules, okay? Otherwise, you'll get arrested. But I really hate white. Just go and get changed. Don't let me tell you twice. Okay, fine. Mom, I changed my clothes and hair to white. Good, remember, you can't change the color of your clothes. Like ever? Yes. <sighs> this sucks. Everyone saying that our soulmates is wearing the same color as us. Wait, really? So we're wearing the same color as our soulmates? Yes, cool, right? Guys, guys, have you seen anyone wearing white? Nope, I'm wearing blue. You should check in class. But how am I supposed to know if they're my soulmates? I'm sure a lot of people got the color white. No, only one person gets white. Only one? Yes, and I already found my soulmate. It's William. Aw, I'm so happy for you guys. So, only one more person got white. Amara, are you going to the prince's event? Prince's event? Yes, the dress code is white. He done it on purpose so he can find Do you think other people are going to pretend they got white? Imagine he doesn't believe me. There's probably going to be people who fake their colors, yes. But I think once he sees you, he'll know. Okay, then. Should I change my clothes? Maybe put on a white dress or something? Or should I stay wearing this? Are you going to the prince's event? Yes, mom. Good. Did you know that he also has a brother who's looking for his soulmate? He has a brother, but only one of them is going to wear white, right? Yes, that's correct. So it should be easy to find him. Okay, I better get going. Okay, honey, good luck. I really hope you'll marry the prince. Whoa, so this is the palace. You're the white girl, huh? Yeah, that's me. Welcome to the palace. But why am I the only person who showed up to this event? Because only you got the color white. But let's wait until midnight, just in case anyone else shows up. Okay, it's midnight and no one showed up yet. So this means I'm your soulmate? Who says you're the only one who got white? Wait, so there's two of you? I had a feeling this was gonna happen. 
Does this mean you're gonna marry two people? No, I'm only gonna marry one. I'm pretty sure one of you is lying about the color. I'm gonna prove who the real white is. Prove? How? So, you guys must... How long can I move today? Infinity? That means I can move forever. But I won't tell anyone I got infinity. I don't want to be arrogant. Mom, I'm ready for school. What's your move time? I only got five minutes today, so I can't drive you to school. I got two hours. Okay, make sure you hide so nothing bad happens to you. Yes, I know, Mom. I still have 30 minutes to move. I have an hour. How much time do you have, Amara? I have five minutes. Then we can't be friends anymore because we're not going to be in the same class. Not in the same class? What do you mean? Sir, is it true that those with little time has to be put in another class? Yes, the important thing is to be safe. That's why we put you all in the same class. So that nothing bad happens when your time is up. Okay, guys, you have 30 seconds left before your time ends. I have to pretend now. Looks like time is up. Take them to the doll shop to sell them. Okay, sir. Wait, what? I can choose to control people's age or remaining life. I choose remaining life. That way, if someone has a short life, I can just extend it. Morning, Mom. What did you choose, honey? I chose to control people's remaining life. In that case, can you add some years to my life? I want to live longer. Of course. Done. Thank you so much, honey. Babe, we have to break up, okay? Why? What did I do? I'm with another girl now, and she's prettier than you. So, all this time you've been cheating on me? Yes, don't talk to me ever again. You're so gonna regret this. <laughs> How come I suddenly feel sick? Bye, Jake. Okay, I will now share your test results. Yes, finally. Amara, you got the lowest grade in class. Lowest grade? Yes, that's why I always tell you to study. But I did study. You did this on purpose because your son goes to the same class as me. No, that's not true. You have a low grade because you didn't study. How come I have one day left? You have until tomorrow to change my grade. Okay, fine. I'll do it now. Just please fix whatever you did. Good. That wasn't so hard, was it? Sis, are you okay? No, my body hurts. The bullies punched me and I think I broke a bone. Don't worry, sis. I'll help you feel better. Thank you so much. I feel so much better now. Class, we have a new student. His name is Alex. Hello, everyone. Who wants to show Alex around the school? Why can't I see his age? I do, sir. I'll show him around. Great. Hi, my name's Amara. What's your name? Why isn't he answering? Hello? The teacher told you my name earlier. Why are you still asking? I was just trying to make a conversation. Yeah, well, I don't like to talk. Okay, sorry for bothering you. Amara, there's a rumor that there's zombies in our city. Huh? Zombies in our city? Yes, and they look exactly like us. Relax, it's just a rumor. Zombies don't exist. We have to be careful, Amara. I'm really curious. Why isn't the new kid's remaining age showing? In order to see his age, you have to give him this drink. Once he takes a sip, you'll be able to see his age. Thank you so much, old lady. Hey, Alex, you look tired. Why don't you drink from this bottle? It will give you energy. I'm not interested. Just trust me, this drink will make you not tired anymore. Really? In that case, I'll have a drink. Okay, I'll have a drink. Hmm, fresh, right? Yes, it's really fresh. Why do you look so panicked? Um, I just realized I'm late for class. Bye. You look worried. I am, because I just found out how many years Alex has left. The new kid? Yes, he has zero years left. Huh, but how is he still alive? That's exactly what I'm confused about. Maybe he's already dead. But if he's dead, then how is he still talking to us? Hey, Alex. Oh, hey, I just finished exercising. Thanks for giving me the drink, by the way. It really did give me energy. I should probably try and increase his age. What are you doing? Um, nothing. I just wanted to thank you again for giving me that drink. You're welcome. Why don't you try and change the amount of years he has left? I tried, but it's not working. That means he's dead because it only works on people who are alive. I told you he was a zombie. Zombie? Yep, and I'm going to tell everyone. Wait, don't! Amora, I want to be honest with you. I used to be a zombie, but the drink you gave me turned me into a human. Are you being serious? Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. Um, I'm happy you turned into a human again. How long do I have left? Four years left, but don't worry, I'll add some years to your life. 
Whoa, thank you, Amara. This is the zombie, sir. Did you tell her I had zero years left? I had to because I was suspicious. I'm sorry. Cute, but we have to get rid of him. We can't have zombies around the school. Yes, finally, no more zombies. Alex, wake up. Why would you do that? Amara, it's over. Come, let's go. He's still not dead. How do you know that? Because it still says he has 44 years left. That's because you've added more years to my life. Don't worry, Amara. I'll never leave you. Uh, wait, what? How is this possible? Choose a new family or new friends. If I choose a new family, I can be free from my family and do whatever I want. So, I choose a new family. I'm going to school, Mom. I'm going to drive your little sister to school. But you never drive me to school. You always drive her. That's because you're old enough to go to school yourself. She's still young. I can't wait to move in with a different family. Guys, guess what? My mom bought me a luxury car and later we're going to be driving it around together. It seems you're very happy in your current family. Actually, I'm already bored with all of them. Then let's switch families. This morning, I chose to switch family. You can't choose yourself. It's automatically determined by huh? the system. I can't choose. My dad slapped me today. My mom threw me out the house. My parents don't even recognize me anymore. It turns out a lot of people are unhappy with their families. I'm worried. What if I get a scary family? Amara, I really need your help. Help with what? I'm going to give you my room key, okay? Please look after it. Why should I look after your room key? You chose to switch family, right? You can just stay with my family while looking after my room. Okay, but what's your family like? Um, I need to go, okay? I have to take care of something important. Why doesn't she want to talk about her family? Huh? I'm moving in five hours? But I still don't know what family I'm moving in with. What if they're bad? Amara, did you know that Leah's family is wanted by the police? Wanted? Why? No one knows. I have to find out because I'm moving in with her family. Excuse me, miss. Why are you here? Can you help us get into this house? Sorry, sir, but I don't have a key. Okay, please contact us if you get in touch with Leah. But why do you want to get into her house? Because her family has committed a serious crime and should be jailed. A serious crime? What am I going to do now? You have to get into Leah's room. All the answers will be there. But how do I get in there? The whole place is surrounded by the police. You have to wait until your time is up. You will automatically be moved. I heard you moving into Leah's house. You're not on their side, are you? Me? No. You have to be careful. If you're seen with them, they'll take you too. Okay, time is almost up. I have to find out the truth about what happened. Three, two, one. Please give me a red hair and let me be the richest person. Huh? Why didn't my hair color change, Mom? You have to wait 24 hours for it to appear. 24 hours? How am I supposed to prove to my friends that I'm rich? This is so stupid. My hair color's red. It means I'm rich. Yeah, my hair color's blue. I'm at a high level. What's your hair color, um, Brown? It hasn't appeared yet. Well, if it doesn't appear within 24 hours, you're done. We won't ever be friends what? again. What? Today we'll be learning division. Those with red hair enters the highest class, and those with blue enters the lowest. What class do I enter, sir? The outstanding class. Outstanding class? Yes. Why is there no one in this outstanding class? I'm the only one. The teacher's so annoying. White hair? I thought only red and blue existed. Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? I don't think it means anything. No meaning? I suggest you go to the hairdresser and change your hair to another color. Okay, sir. Did you guys see Amara's white hair? Finally, someone with a different hair color. I want her Sir, hair. Sir, why is everyone looking at me? Ignore them. Follow me to the hairdresser. Okay. We've arrived. Please close your eyes while they fix your hair. Amara, there's something I want to ask you. Excuse me, sir. What did you want to say? I need a piece of your hair for research purposes. What? No! Oh my gosh, look at her hair. It's white. I wonder how much money it would make if we sold it. Why them. are people so weird? Hey, white hair, follow me. No, you're a stranger. Just hurry up. Let go of me. Who are you? Listen, I'm here to save you. Why won't you hide? Hide? Oh, you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? 
Let go of me. Who are you? I'm here to help you. Why won't you hide? Hide? So you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Why would they be against it? Your hair is magical. You can ask it anything and it will do it Anything? Yes, they want to cut your hair because if they cut it, it won't work anymore. So I can ask anything, huh? I need to think of something worth asking. It's safer to stay here. Don't go out because people are looking for you. But how am I supposed to eat? Don't worry, I'll bring you food. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. It's getting late. Where is the white-haired girl? She's here, sir. Good job. You caught her before anyone else did. That's it. Take the scissors and cut her hair for me. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Amara. He offered me a lot of money to do Wait, this. Wait, one second. Before you do anything. Hair, please make everyone forget about my hair color. Did it work? Did what work? And why am I holding a scissors? What is this place? Wait, so you can't see my hair color? Yes, I can. It's blue. You're poor. That explains why you're sleeping in this underground garage. Anyways, we have a job we need to get to. I wonder how many mistakes I've made. Huh? Zero? That means I've never done anything wrong, right? I'll just put it on private so that my friends don't think I'm arrogant. You're the one who let my food burn in the oven, right? I told you to take it out on time. No, it wasn't me, Mom. Why do you always accuse me? I know you have a lot of mistakes. That's why you put it on private, right? No, I put it on private because... Stop making excuses. Excuse me, sir. Am I in this class? Well, it depends. How many mistakes do you um, have? Um, a hundred. That means you're in the lowest class. Class D. Class D? Why is class A empty? Apparently, only one person can enter class A. It's the person with zero mistakes. They'll give that person something special. Something special? Like what? Don't worry about it, because it's definitely not you. You're the one who stole all the exam answers. No, sir, it wasn't me. She's lying. Her mistakes are private. I'm sure she just says that to not get accused. That's not true. You're all wrong. Okay, if you didn't cheat, make your mistakes on public to prove yourself. Okay, sir. She must have a lot of mistakes. Okay, if you didn't cheat, make your mistakes on public to prove yourself. She must have a lot of mistakes. How comes it's not working? Right, you must be lying then. But sir, my mistakes are on zero. That's it, I'm giving you a detention. I'm gonna give you ten assignments. I'll collect them tomorrow. Make sure you do all of them, okay? Mom, look, the teacher gave us ten assignments. Good, maybe you'll erase some of your mistakes since you have so many. But I don't think I've ever done anything wrong. I'm ashamed of you. Our neighbors are talking about you all the time and how bad you are. Fix yourself. Yes, mom. Amara, what are you cooking? It's burnt. Oh, I forgot to turn off the stove. You keep making mistakes. I'm tired. But how comes my mistakes aren't increasing? Sis, why can't the number of my mistakes be published? The number of your mistakes are zero, right? How do you know? I haven't told you yet. Because mine's the same, although I do mistakes all the time. But why can't we put ours on public like everyone else? Because no one's supposed to know that we make mistakes and still have zero mistakes. If they find out about this error, they'll fix it and we'll be just like everyone else. Okay, well, good thing it didn't work because I tried putting mine on public. You tried putting yours on public? Oh no. What? It usually takes 24 hours before it goes public. Wait, what? You need to help me. How do I remove it? I don't want mine to go on public. Don't worry, I know a guy. This is the guy you know? He's a kid. Hey, don't be rude, otherwise I won't help. Okay, fine. Hey, drink this. It should reset your decision. So, did it work? Yep, all you need to do is pick private and you should be fine. Okay, now every time you get that option, just continue to press private. Like that, your number will never be public. Okay, thank you so much. Hurry up and give me the rain symbol. Wait, hold on, son. But... My mom and dad both have the rain symbol. Oh my gosh, hurry up, cover that symbol. Here's some makeup. Huh? Why do I have to cover it up, mom? Because I cheated on your dad and your real dad had a sun symbol. Hurry up, cover it. Cheated? Does that mean I'm not your child? You're ridiculous. Of course you're my child. I gave birth to you.
Amara, stop running away. Let me call you Amara. No, don't touch me. I'm going to tell Dad that you're a cheater. Oh, I already know. I've also cheated on her before. Huh? When did you cheat on me? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the day after our wedding. What is wrong with you people? Oh my gosh, Amara, you got the sun symbol? Yeah, I did. How come? Your parents both have the rain symbol. I don't know. I had, it's really hard to get the sun symbol. My cousin gave birth to a hundred kids just to have one with a sun symbol. A hundred kids? Yep, so you're very lucky. <sighs> lucky? Why? You didn't know? Only people with the sun symbol can marry the king. Marry the king? I don't even want to. Hey, are you talking bad about the king? Get her! Hey, let go of me! Why am I in handcuffs? You will stay here until the king comes and decides how to punish you. Please, let go of me. I have a maths exam soon. If I don't show up, I'll be in big trouble. Wait, the king also have a maths exam today. Maybe he's your classmate. Let's take her to him. Okay, let's do it. Excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry I'm late for the exam. I was kidnapped and handcuffed and they finally let go of me. Um, your excuse doesn't make sense, but because I'm in a good mood, just come in. Hey, you're cheating off my paper. What are you doing? Did you just hit that guy? Yeah, he's an idiot. He keeps cheating. He's bleeding. Are you okay? Hey, you. Aren't you the girl from earlier? Yeah, I remember her because she has a sun symbol. Oh my gosh, our king. What did you do to him? It wasn't me. And who's the king? Who are you talking about? Uh, it's... it's me. Black? What does a black heart mean? A black heart means... It means that your soulmate's having unpredictable love problems. Maybe he's having troubles with his girlfriend. No, it's much worse than you think. And the black collar is more targeted by our teacher. That means I have to fake my sign again so that nothing happens to me. Okay, I've changed it back to red. Hopefully no one will snitch on me. Why is it that only girls get green hearts and boys don't? Because almost no girl cheats. Girls are more loyal. What? That's not true. Anyway, what's important is you need to keep your collar hidden. The teacher can't know. By the way, where did Gemma go? I don't know. She said she was going to go and speak with the teacher. A teacher? Someone told me that there's a person with a black heart in the school. Who told you, sir? It doesn't matter, but a black heart is really dangerous. We have to catch them. What if the teacher finds out it's me and he kills me? Who will save my soulmate then? Amara, you have to get out of the school before anyone finds out because you're being targeted. But why? I love school. I'm only saying this because I'm your friend. Why is the police here? They found more people with green hearts, so they're here to capture them. I need to get out of here before it's too late. Why are you always late? I'm so hungry. Sorry, babe. I was busy with something. Since you're late, you have to pay for my food. You want me to pay for your food? You cheated on me and you still haven't admitted it. How have I cheated? We both have red hearts. That's true. This means he's not my soulmate. You know what? I don't love you anymore. I'm breaking up with you. Amara, wait. So, I'm the only one in town with a black heart. I have to find my soulmate before it's too late. Things can get worse. Honey, get ready. We're going to have guests over. Who's coming? You'll see. Can you get that? What's up, Emily? Amara, come with me. You can't be in your house. Why can't I be in my house? What's wrong? I know the location of your soulmate. He's in danger. We have to hurry up and go. How do you know? I'll tell you later. Amara, come in. The guests are already here. Guests? I'm sorry, I can't come with you. We have guests. Wait! Amara, this is who I wanted to introduce you to. Sir, what are you doing at my house? Are my grades that bad? No, I want to take you out for a walk. Why is the color of the teacher's heart also black? It's the same color as mine. You're going on a vacation with the teacher for three days. A vacation? With my teacher? Okay, I hope I get a rich family. Mafia? I don't want a mafia family. Hey, Amara. Hey. Why do you look so shocked? You usually wear very simple clothes to school. Why do you look so luxurious? Because my family are rich. They own so many companies. I got the option to have a rich family today and I accept it. Today, I have to get a family richer than all my friends. Ew, I don't want an ordinary family. That's boring. They have to be rich. Amara, why don't you have a family? Because I declined it. I'm sure I'll get a rich family soon. Oh my gosh, don't you know that we're only given three family options? You could become homeless and end up sleeping under a bridge. Under a bridge? Yes. Okay, this is the last time I get an option, so... Please give me a rich family.
sweets or plain food wait honey choose the plain food it's not good that you eat sweets all the time but mom i don't like eating plain food it's for your own health <sighs> fine mom i'm hungry oh it just happens that i don't have any more plain food <sighs> Seriously? Why didn't you stock up on plain food? You knew I'd be hungry by now. Why do you always rely on me? Go buy it yourself. It's okay. I'll just starve myself to death. Sis, if you want, you can just eat my cake. But it's sweet, isn't it? Mom told me to choose the sweet option. The food is really delicious. Mom, this isn't fair. Why can't she eat sweet food and I can't? Stop fighting over food. Hey, I would like to buy some plain food. Sorry, but we don't have any plain food options. Everyone chose sweet food. Everyone? That cheesecake was so amazing. No, the ice cream was even better. I like the chocolate cake. Okay, can I just have one plain bread, please? Sure, the price is 50 pounds. 50 pounds for one slice of bread? Okay, whatever, it's better than starving, right? Wait, that bread is moldy. Why are you eating it? It is? I just bought it off the canteen. Just buy some sweets. <sighs> I can't. I've already chosen plain food. What am I going to do now? I'm going to starve to death. Luckily, I still have some plain food with me. Thank you so much. I'm full. Class, today we're going to be guessing the food. If you get all the answers right, the food is yours. Can I participate? Yes, of course. That's apples, that's a cinnamon bun, that's olives, and that's yogurt. Well done, the food is yours. Thank you so much, sir. Amara, all the food is moldy. Wait, what? Why? Why haven't you eaten yet, Amara? I chose plain food, which turned out to be rare. If you get really hungry, it could get dangerous. Dangerous? Why? Your family will also be affected. Does that mean they're all gonna die? Yep, that's right. Hey babe, what kind of food are you eating? It looks really good. A chocolate bun, but you can't eat that, right? You have to feed me, I can't hold it, otherwise it'll get moldy. Oh yeah, you're smart, I'll feed you. It's really delicious, but... Why am I still hungry? I think if you eat any sweet food, it won't fill you up. You have to eat plain food. Where else can I look for plain food? Everyone on the road is selling sweet food. Hey you, just eat this. What is this? I can't eat any sweets, only plain food. Just trust me, eat all four flavors. Okay, but I can't hold them, otherwise they get moldy. These ones won't go moldy, they're special sweets. Don't eat them yet, you have to eat them in front of your family. Mom, open please. Sorry, honey, you can't come in. We're eating. Well, I guess I'm going to eat them all now. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Know where someone was born or know why someone was born? I've always been curious where people were born. Guys, I just came back from France. My parents are so rich. They spoiled me so much. Are you really that rich? Of course I am. The whole school knows this. So how come you were born on a farm? What? How did you know that? I'm not telling you. What the hell? Someone was born in a park? And under a bridge too? Looks like I really can see where people were born. So Amara, you can see where people were born, right? So all this time you were born in a palace? Yes, I really need your help. Will you help me? Help you with what? My little brother disappeared since birth. I need your help to find him. You have to find the people who were born in the palace like me. Okay, I'll help you. I've been looking through the whole school, but I can't find anyone born in the palace. Can't you find anyone? I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I wonder where I was born. Pretty candy or ugly candy? Which one should I choose? It's obvious. Choose the pretty candy. I don't want to have ugly kids. Okay, I want to choose the pretty candy so that all the boys will love me. Whoa, I look so beautiful. The pill worked. Who are you? Mom, someone broke into our house. How come you don't know your own sister? Amara, why is your face so pretty? I'm beautiful, right? I chose the pretty pill. But I didn't get that option. You didn't get it? Lucy, you're so ugly. I'm so disappointed in you. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Whoa, I can't believe it. My child is so beautiful. Well, it's all thanks to you because you told me to choose the pretty pill. I want to show you off to my neighbors so that they know that I have a beautiful daughter. Don't be ridiculous, Mom. I'm shy. Whoa, is that a new student? How come she's so beautiful? I can't believe it. My dream is coming true. I'm going to be the most popular girl in school. Why is your face so pretty and mine isn't? How come your face is so ugly? Look around. How come everyone here is so ugly? Because we all got the ugly candy. Didn't you get it? No, I ate the pretty candy. Does that mean I'm the prettiest one in school? Why is there a whole crowd of people running? I just told everyone that you got the pretty candy. <sighs> 
Why would you tell them? I trusted you. Because I don't want you to be prettier than me. Give us the pretty candy. <laughs> Why are you all so obsessed with being beautiful anyway? Because if you're not pretty, then you're not appreciated. Attention, the school's holding a competition. The most beautiful person wins. Can I participate, sir? Don't let her. Her beauty is artificial. Yeah, she's fake. They're just jealous because I'm more beautiful than them. Shut up. If you want to register, please come to my room. Are you sure you want to join this competition? Yes, and I'm sure I'll win because I'm the only beautiful one in the school. But there's one more person who isn't ugly in our school. Huh? That's impossible. I'm the only one who got the pretty pill. She'll come soon. You can see her face for yourself. Hello, everyone. Why isn't your face ugly like the rest of the students? I didn't get a candy because I woke up late. By the way, do you have an extra candy? Yes, I got one. Here you go. Eat it now. She's so dumb. I'm so gonna win this competition. Knowing people's age or knowing people's address? I choose knowing people's age because often people lie about how old they are. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Huh? 26 years old? Why did you lie and say you were 50? Because I'm embarrassed. I gave birth to you when I was only 12. 12? Does that mean you were still in school? Yes, but I got kicked out. Since you're still young, why don't you get any more kids? I really want a sister. Giving birth isn't that easy. What if we adopt someone? Adopt? Okay, I don't care as long as I get a sibling. Hey, bestie. Hey, Amara. 17 years old? How come you're 17 years old? We're still in first year of high school. Because I didn't go to school for two years, but please don't tell anyone. Calm down, I won't. Amara, this is your report card. Thanks, sir. Why am I grades so low? Because you're not smart. Raise my grades, otherwise I'll tell the principal that you're 70 years old and he'll kick you out because you're not allowed to work when you're 70, you should be retired. Okay, I'll raise your grades, but please don't tell the principal. That's more like it. You want to be my girlfriend? We're the same age. <laughs> you think you can lie to me? You're a few years older than me and I don't want to waste my time with someone like you. Bye. Hey mom, your new sister's here. Why don't you go get to know her? You already adopted someone? Yes, she's in the living room. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, what's your name? My name's Olivia. Olivia? Yes, sis. Sis, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Why can't I see Olivia's age? I need to find out how old she is. Olivia, your room's right there. Let me help you with your bag. I wonder what she has in here. Huh? Since when did Olivia have dentures? I let you hold my bag, not go through it. This is yours? No, I got them from my orphanage. Here, give me my bag. Mom, we have to kick my new sister out. What's wrong? There's something wrong with her. I can't see how old she is. Maybe there's an error in the system. But just now, I found dentures in her bag. She already said it belonged to her mother in the orphanage. There's someone new in your house. How did you know that? I know you're trying to find out how old she is. Wear these glasses, they'll help you. These glasses? Where's the old lady? How come she's gone? Olivia? Since when did you wear makeup? You're still young, you can't wear makeup. I'm trying to cover my moles. Moles? Yes. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Wait, aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to eat them all now. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Okay, let me try to eat some sweet food right now. Oh my gosh, it's true. It made me full right away. But why is my family taking so long to finish their food? I've been looking at you from my bedroom window. Why have you been standing outside for so long? I'm not allowed to go inside because my family is eating and the food could get moldy. But don't you think it's suspicious how long they've taken? Yeah, right. It's been five hours. Doesn't your family leave a spare key under the rug? Oh yeah, right. I'll just open the door. I'm home. Oh my gosh, how come they all fainted? Why are you just staring at them? Hurry up, let's take them to the hospital. No, it's useless. Amara, your family serves are a steak. <sighs> it's all my fault. I thought Amara could only eat plain food. Not anymore. I can eat whatever I like. Hi, miss. I'd like to buy everything on the menu. But I thought you could only eat plain food. Not anymore. I can eat whatever I like. So, how much is the total? 300 pounds. Can you pay for it? Of course. I can just use my mom's card. Everything in the canteen is sold out. If she bought everything, then what are we going to oh, eat? Oh, you guys can just eat plain food. That's if they have any. I'm so happy I can finally eat sweets. Where were you? I've been looking for you all day. What's wrong? Your family hasn't been doing too good at the hospital. The doctors can't help them, only you One can. One sec, let me finish my food, I'm still hungry. 
Why am I not getting full? I've eaten so much today. Maybe because you've been eating sweets. But that doesn't make any sense. I ate the gummies that old lady gave me. Hey, those gummies you gave me aren't working. That's because you didn't eat them in front of your family like I told what you to. What am I going to do now? Go to your teacher. I've already given him some food that you can eat to save your family. Sir! Where were you? I've been looking for you. Do you have the food the old lady gave you? Yes, it's right here. Hurry up and eat it. But this chocolate tastes like... Class, remember, do not draw on your faces because it will also appear on um, your soulmate's face. Miss, who would want to draw on the face anyway? I don't think anyone here would do that. What do you mean? Look at James over there. He's drawing Star Wars characters on his face with a marker. Whoa, James, what are you doing? I'm drawing on my face. What does it look like? If I draw these special characters, it will be easier to find my soulmate. James is right. I also want to draw on my face. Hey, you should join us, Amara. I have a marker. No, thanks. I'm good. Whoa, these people are going insane. Why does everyone want to find the soulmate so desperately? Do you not want to find him? No, I don't, because I don't believe in soulmates. My mom and dad were married and divorced because he cheated on her. Yeah, but that's your dad's fault. He's a cheater. Look at my parents. They've been together for 50 years. But if your dad cheated, he wouldn't tell you, so how would you know? What the heck, Amara? You're so evil. Anyway, when you find the one, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, I have to draw on my face like all these people are doing? Oh my gosh, Aiden, come here, let me draw on your face. Leave me alone, Stephanie. I really hope I'm your soulmate, Aiden. I mean, bestie. <laughs> Whoa, I feel bad for whoever her soulmate is. She's crazy. Amara, why does all your friends have stuff drawn on their faces? They're desperate to find their soulmate. And you're not? No, I don't want to get cheated on like you. Huh? Stephanie? No, this can't be happening. Out of all people, why would he write this name? I have to cover this up before anyone sees it. Did you see Aiden's face this morning? I feel sorry for him. Yeah, his face has Stephanie's name on it. She's a freaking psychopath. Hey bro, why do you have Stephanie written on your forehead? I was sleeping yesterday after basketball practice. And when I woke up, I saw she had written her name on my forehead. This is impossible. It's the exact same writing as mine. That only means one thing. Aiden's my soulmate. Oh, look who it is. So it turns out you're Aiden's match. Wait. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Can I please borrow those glasses? Give them to me. How old are you actually, Olivia? I already told you, I'm eight. No, you can't lie to me. You're 250 years old. But how come you're still in this world? What the heck? I'm still eight. Mom! Mom, you have to get Olivia out of here. She's not a person. What's wrong? You've always been begging for a sister. She's 250 years old. You're jealous of her, aren't you? No, I'm not. Please, you have to believe me. You know what? Get out of this house. Only come back when you fix that attitude of yours. Fine, I'll leave. Luckily, I've got the address of Olivia's orphanage. Why are you here? I'm looking for this address. That's the address of a nursing home. Nursing home? Yes, as far as I know, there's no orphanage around there. I'm still gonna check it out. Okay, when you get there, follow the signs. Why is there only old people around here? Why are you here, young lady? Is there an orphanage around this area? No, only nursing homes. Wanna come yeah, in? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, miss. You can't enter this home. It's only for the elderly. I just wanted to ask, do you know a girl named Olivia? She's from an orphanage in this area. No, I've never met a girl named Olivia. But the address is correct. Anyway, I'm going to go in and check. Okay, but I warn you, it's very dangerous. Yeah, whatever. I knew it. There is an orphanage. Look at all the kids. Are you here to adopt us? How are you so old but look so young? Everyone in this orphanage are like this. Okay, this is creepy. I need to get out of here. Emily, hurry up and get me. I sent you the address. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm just going to check it. Amara, the address you sent me isn't appearing on the map. Also, it doesn't exist. Hey, all of you. Why isn't this address being detected? People who enter the forest can't leave unless they've adopted someone first. What? Okay, does anyone know Olivia, the owner of these dentures? That's Benjamin's. Benjamin? Yes. So, does that mean he's a guy? Yes, he's a boy, but he looks like a girl. Anyway, where did you get the dentures from? He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... Mom, can I have money for lunch? Sorry, honey, I'm in debt right now. I can't afford to give you any more money. You're in debt? Yes, but there's a way for you to make money. You have to guess the guess name. Guess the name of a mafia or a psychopath. 
I'll guess the name of a psychopath because they're more dangerous and that way if I know the name I can stay away from them. Huh? There's four letters? What happens if I don't guess the name? You have three tries. If you fail all of them, you'll disappear. Only three tries? Yes, so you have to be careful. Okay, I'll try to guess the first letter. K? That's wrong. I only have two tries left before I disappear. Amara, there's a new student. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. A girl. Most girl names have A in them, so... A? Yes, it's right. Hi, class. This is our new student. She'll be sitting next to you. But, miss, isn't that a doll? Don't be disrespectful. Be nice. She's new. That was weird. Anyway, let me continue guessing the name. Um, Anne? That's wrong. If I'm wrong one more time, I disappear. Why are you being rude to the new kid? You can't see that it's a doll. A doll? What are you talking about? She's human. Amara, you're in the same group as the new girl. I'm in a group with a doll? Isn't that the same as doing the whole project on my own? What are you talking about? She's obviously just a girl. What is wrong with you people? You're right, it is a doll. Finally, someone who believes me. That means I'm not going crazy. The only reason we see her as a doll is because we haven't looked her in the eyes. So, if we look her in the eyes, we'll see her as a human? Yes. Did I spell your name right? No, it's M, not N. Huh? Yes! Two more letters! You don't have to worry about guessing the name. Why not? You'll soon know the truth. Amara, our teacher died. What do you mean he died? The new kid says it's your fault. <gasps> They're saying I killed the teacher? How is this doll accusing me? Can she even speak? The teacher died because he saw her in the shape of a doll. <gasps> so that means we're also gonna die because we've seen her in the shape of a doll. You have to guess the psychopath's name before it's too late. You said I shouldn't worry. She's gonna kill you. What? Kill me? We don't even know each other. She knows very well who you are. She's trying to stop you from guessing the letters. Switch bodies with mom or boyfriend? I choose boyfriend. Wait, but if I'm gonna be in his body, does that mean he's gonna be in my body? Morning, honey. Do you wanna come with me to grandma's house after school? I can't today, mom. I'm gonna be... I didn't even finish my sentence and I've already switched bodies. I wonder how long I'm going to be in this body for. Anyway, it's my first day. I can't mess this up. Jake, break up with Amara and be my boyfriend. Lucy, aren't you Amara's best friend? Yes, but I'm only friends with her to get closer to you. And besides, you guys aren't married yet. Nah, I'm good. I'm not going to break up with Amara. I love her. And besides, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. I mean, she doesn't want to be friends with you anymore. Turns out, there's a lot of girls who have a crush on my boyfriend. I'm going to be rejecting girls all day. Jake, Lucy likes you so much. Let her. I've got Amara. But you can date her too. What kind of friends does he have? I can't believe Lucy. She's fake. Jake, Amara's looking for you. Not now. I'm busy. You know she's dating Lucas, right? She's what? Amara, your belly's bleeding. Hurry up. Let's go to the hospital. There's definitely something wrong with my soulmate. You're right, he's hurt, but why can't you feel I don't know, it? but I have to help him. He's in danger. No, you're not helping anyone before you help yourself first. I'm taking you to the hospital. Amara, hello. Are you even concentrating on this class? Sorry, miss. I'm still thinking about my soulmate. You're in class. You need to focus on the lesson. Okay, you're right. Why do I feel so dizzy? I need to find a way out of the school. I have to help him. What are you doing? You can't be walking around right now. You just got out of the hospital. I'm fine, really. I'm feeling much better. I need to find my soulmate. If the same thing happens again, that means your soulmate's really in danger. You have to search for him now, otherwise it might get worse. I already know who he is. It's Jason, because we had the same wounds. Do you know where he lives? Right, I don't. By the way, aren't you Jason's ex? Yes, and I never wanted to see him again, but I'm only helping because you're my friend. Yay, thank you. Ouch, what's this on my wrist? It really hurts. Let's just leave. We can't go to Jason's house. It's too dangerous. <gasps> but if we don't go, we can't... Help! Did you hear that? Jason, is that you? Please, help me. What are you doing down there? I told you my parents are dangerous. Just leave before they no, come No, I'm staying here with you. Lucy, can you go get help? I'm not leaving you here alone. Just go, I'll be fine. I need to find a way to get you out of these handcuffs. The only person who has the keys is my dad. I wish you could walk. It would be so much easier to get you out of here. <clears throat> what was that? 
Well, who do we have here? Before you do anything, just know, the police are on the way. Well, thanks for telling me. In that case, I'm gonna have to get you both out of here. Before the police comes and catches me. You're not gonna make it in time. Watch me. Ouch! Let go of me! I'm sorry, Amara. Where is Lucy? Why is she taking so long? Yes, the police is here. I told you we weren't gonna get away with this. Guys, there's no point running. They're gonna catch you regardless. Thank you so much for saving me. Of course, you're my soulmate after all. But hey, please in the future, stop getting hurt because, you know, we share the same pain. I'll try my best. He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's a psychopath. Psychopath? Yes. How do I get out of here so I can save my mom? You won't be able to get out unless you adopt someone or someone adopts you. Emily, can you contact the nursing home here so you can adopt me? Adopt you? Where the hell are you now? I'll send you the number now. Please call them quick. Where's the owner of this nursing home? The owner's right in front of you. A thousand years? What do you need? You own this nursing home? Don't be surprised by my small body. The older I get, the smaller I get. I want to ask, my friend contacted you to adopt me. Yes, but I refuse. Huh? Why? Because she needs to be an adult in order to adopt you. Then how do I get out of here? Someone's adopted you. Why are you lying? The owner just said my friend couldn't adopt me. It's not your friend. Not my friend? Then who is it? The security guard? Thank you so much for saving me. Can you take me to the police station? Sorry, I can't. I only adopted you to help you out. I have to look after this nursing home. Okay, thank you, sir. Officer. How can I help you? There's a 250-year-old man living at my house and he pretends to be a kid. That's crazy. I don't believe you. I can see people's ages. If that's true, what's my age? You're 50 years old. That was just a coincidence. How old am I? You're 45. Okay, take us to your mom's house. Your mom's not in here. She left a note saying she went to the nursing home to look for you. That means she's stuck there. Officer, can you help me adopt my mom so she can get out of there? Hello. Huh? You were the security guard from yesterday. How did you turn into a child? Come on, we need to hurry up. Why is there no sound coming from inside? We have to break in. Three, two, one. Ten million or a pen? Of course the money. Amara, don't forget breakfast. <sighs> yes, mom. I chose it by accident. This pen is so ugly. They could have at least given me a nice one. I'll just use it until it runs out. Honey, what did you choose? I chose the pen. Instead of the money, what are you going to do Whatever, with it? Whatever, mom. It was your fault I chose the pen anyway. Hey, don't blame me for your actions. What did you choose? The money, right? No, I chose a pen. Oh my gosh, that pen is so old. We all chose the money. Look, the poor person just entered our class. She's dumb for choosing the pen. I know, right? I can't help but laugh at her. Class, I hope you're all ready for the test. Huh? Sir, can you repeat that? There's only going to be two questions, but they're going to be super hard. I didn't even study. I don't understand any of this. I'll just answer it. Jake, since you finished first, you're getting extra points. I don't care about who finishes first. I care about getting the highest grade. It's really upsetting that I don't have any friends. Let me just use this pen. Amara will disappear from this world. Did you hear the news about Amara? Yeah, she disappeared. No one knows where she is. Oh, they're talking about me. That means this pen is... I hope I can see for a long time today. What? That means I can see forever, right? But no one should know. Mom, I'm going to school. Sorry, honey, I can't see you. I didn't get any time to see today. I'm sorry, Mom. I tried making you breakfast. I don't know if it looks good. Um, I'm okay. Uh, anyways, I'm almost late for school. See you. Look, Amara can't see again. Why can she never see? It's because our family's cursed. They're always blind. Yeah, why do you even bother being friends with her? Let's go. What? You don't want to be friends with me because I'm blind? Sorry, Amara, but I have to go. <sighs> Class, I'm preparing a potion for you. If you drink it, it will improve your improve vision. Improve our vision? Not you, Amara. It doesn't work on blind people. I can't believe they fell for that. Once they drink the potions, I'm going to have infinite time to see. You must give them the potion quickly before the principal sees you. I have to tell the others. 
Guys, you can't drink from that potion. It's a trap. How do you know? You can't even see. Yeah, how do you know? Because I speak to my soulmate or marry my soulmate. I'm not ready for marriage yet, so speak to my soulmate. I'm so nervous to speak to my soulmate for the first time. Hi, soulmate. What's your name? What? Why isn't he answering? So annoying. Why doesn't my soulmate want to speak to me? Amara, are you focusing on my lesson? Yes, sorry, sir. I'm giving you a two-hour detention after class. I'm so happy we have a new teacher. He's so gorgeous. Why? He's so annoying. I just want to complain to my soulmate. Hey, soulmate. Still no answer. David, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Why do you think my soulmate isn't answering me? Well, it could be that your soulmate's dead. Dead? I'll try it again. Hi, soulmate. Hi, sorry for earlier. I was teaching a class. I couldn't answer. Teaching? Where? Not now, I'm busy. Amara's dating Lucas now. He what? Hey, Jake, I heard you're looking for me. Whoa, is that how people see me? I actually look hot. Yeah, whatever. I heard you're dating Lucas. Uh, I've been wanting to tell you. So, you like boys now? No, I like boys and girls. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I was scared of your reaction. You can like whoever you want, but you can't date Lucas in my body. Um, I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. We have to switch bodies first. I'm not allowing you to date him in my body. Well, for now, I'm going to do it because we still haven't changed bodies yet. He's so annoying. How dare he date Lucas in my body without my permission? Jake, I bought two tickets for me and you to go to a football game. Leave me alone, Lucy. But please, I've already paid. All right, cool, whatever. Hey, I heard you're going on a date with Lucy. It's not a date. We're just watching a football game. Why are you like this? Amara clearly moved on with Lucas. They're already planning the wedding. The what? Jake, what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm not going to let you get away with this. I have to find a way to switch bodies again. Want to switch bodies? Call this number. Hello, I need your help. I have to switch back to my body before it's too late. Okay, I'll send you the address now. Hello, am I in the right place? Yes, indeed you are. So, what do I have to do to switch back to my body? Hey, you have to say this word. All I have to say is switch. <sighs> I'm finally back in my body. I hate my life. Lucy, what's wrong? Jake just cancelled our date. He's in love with Lucas. Don't worry, I'll go with you. Wait, really? Yeah, why not? Um, choose between the white bottle or the gold bottle. I choose the gold one. I wonder what power this one's gonna give me. I disappear when I hold my breath. Interesting. Mom, I... Honey, can you go to the shop for me and buy some vegetables? Amara, where did she go? Yes, she can't see me. <sighs> Finally, I can breathe again. What power did you get? I can disappear when I hold my breath. Oh, cool. Every time I sneeze, I fly. Why are you talking to Jason? He's so weird. Weird? What do you mean? He doesn't let anyone go to his house because he says his mom is fat. But his mom is fine. But Jason seems pretty normal to me. I have to prove it myself. Jason, I'm coming to your house later. No! What? Why? You don't want anything bad to happen, do you? Anything bad to happen? I have to disappear and enter Jason's home. See what's in someone's wallet or see what's in someone's savings? I'd rather see how much money people have in their savings. Mom, can I have some money? I want to buy 50 packs of... No, there's a lot of food at home. Just take something with you. You're so skinny. How come you eat like a cow? Why are you so greedy? You have so much money in your bank account, but you never give me any. Anyways, how do you have one million? You don't even work. What? How did you know that? Anyways, um, your grandma gives it to me. Oh, I see. Turns out all my friends have so much money in their bank accounts. Some people have 100k. How is that even possible? They don't even work. We're just in high school. Amara, I bought you a burger. <sighs> Thank you so much. But where did you get the money to buy this? You only have 10 pounds in your savings. Oh, my parents gives it to me. But I thought your parents were jobless. No, they've got a job now. Someone just stole 250 pounds from our class savings. It was only meant to be used on a school trip. 
250 pounds? Where did the money go? Well, we don't know who it is yet, but it stays between me and you, okay? Okay, sir. Hey, can I deposit 250 pounds? Oh, Amora, what are you doing here? Nothing. I uh, saw you walk into the bank, so I thought I'd come in and say hi. Do you want to come to my house later? Sure. All my money's gone. I also lost 500 pounds. Who's the thief? What's going on, guys? We have to be careful because there's a money thief in our class. Don't worry, I'll help you find the money thief. Thanks for coming, Amara. Yeah, no problem. Can I borrow some money to buy my mom a present? You have a lot of savings. Why do you keep asking for money? No, I don't. I'm broke. You can't lie to me. I guess I'm not going to be able to buy my mom a present. <sighs> All right, hold on a sec. Hey, drink this. Um, I'm not thirsty, but thank you. I knew it! She is the money thief! I wonder how much money I have in my savings. Why are you yawning? I'm sleepy, mom. You can't sleep until bedtime. Why not? Because if you sleep now, you won't be tired anymore by bedtime. Alright, I'll sleep later. Why do we have to sleep on a specific time? That's because of the sound that comes on at night. If we hear it, something dangerous oh, will happen. I see. I'm feeling so sleepy. Um, Amara, who told you you could sleep? Sorry, sir. I was feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna have to give you a detention. Okay, if I'm right, this is the detention room. Why is it locked? Amara, don't enter that room. Why? I have a detention. It's not in that room. It's in a different one. Oh. Why can't I enter that room? Because whoever's entered that room in the past has never came Why out. Why don't again. they come out? It's for the people who doesn't sleep when they're supposed to. They get locked in there until they rot. Rot? Yes, that's why I'm telling you not to go in there. You'll never be able to come out. What if I accidentally fall asleep? I'm sleepy. Just use this headset. You won't feel sleepy anymore. Thank you. He's right. I don't feel sleepy anymore. This means I can just sleep, and when I'm done, I can just put on these headsets again. Okay, class, you're free to go home. It's almost time to sleep. Make sure whatever you do, do not leave your house. But if I take off this headset at bedtime, I'll feel sleepy again, right? Unless I use this headset while everyone's asleep. Honey, please don't forget to sleep, okay? Yes, mom. Don't worry. I won't forget. And make sure you lock all the doors and all the windows. It's so quiet. Everyone's asleep. I'm going to go outside. I'm curious why the teacher told us to stay at home. Vote for a safe world or a dangerous world? I vote for a safe world, of course. Why didn't it? It doesn't work like that. Everyone gets to vote, and the one with the most votes gets picked. You have to convince everyone to vote for a safe world. Because if this world ends, it's all your fault. Why my fault? Because it's all in your hands. Okay, this should be easy. Surely everyone wants to live, right? No one really wants this world to end. Okay, positive thinking. You can do this. Jake, you have lots of girlfriends, right? Please help me. Help you with what? Tell them to vote for a safe world. I only need a hundred people to vote. Okay, fine. I'll help you. Okay, hurry up. Go. I didn't mean now. I have basketball. Can't you just cancel? This is really important. All right, fine. I'll cancel. Yay. Thank you. Hey, Emma, will you tell everyone to vote for a safe world? Why should I help you? She's my friend. Hey, Jake. Okay, if she's your friend, I'll vote for a safe world now. Tell your friends too. Yes, of course. Girls, vote for a safe world. Thank you so much. Ew, don't touch me. I'm only doing this for Jake. Jake, thank you so much. Because of you, I've got 50 votes in already. Why aren't you saying anything? I've helped you enough. I really need to get to basketball practice. Bye. Wait, can I join you at basketball practice? I can just ask all your friends to vote for a safe world. There's going to be lots of people there, right? Okay, just hurry up. Guys, please help me vote for a safe world so we can all live. I'll only vote if you become my girlfriend. Okay, uh, vote first, then I'll answer. It don't work like that. Answer first, then I'll vote. Vote for a safe world, otherwise I'll get you kicked out of this basketball team. Uh, yes, Captain, I'll vote for a safe world now. That's it, we've all voted for a safe world. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll treat you with some water bottles. Hey, um, can I please have 50 water bottles? Yes, of course. Wait, why is there only 99 people who voted? I swear there was like... More than a hundred people who voted. Here's your drinks. I put them in a box so it's easier to carry. Thank you. Oh yeah, miss. Can you please help me vote for a safe world? Yes, of course. Thank you. Wait, 
How come the number didn't change? It's stuck at 99%. Is everything okay? Yes, miss. Everything's fine. Thanks for the water. I'll pay you later. Bye. Hey, Jake, I'm curious. You also voted for a safe world, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. He helped me get a lot of people vote for a safe world, but he never voted himself. Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I can't, Amara. Can't? Why? It's because I... Short life or an illegitimate child? I don't want to live a short life. I'll just choose the illegitimate child. I can just put it in an orphanage or something. Mommy! Wait, how come you don't look like me? Listen to me carefully, okay? I'm not your mom, and today I have a really important job interview, so stay away from me. Mommy! I already told you, I'm not your mom. You're Amara, right? Yes, sir. So you're married, right? Not yet. But it's written here, you already have one child. How did my personal data change? That means you're a single parent? Yes, sir. Something like that. All right, in that case, you got the job. Wait, really? Thanks so much. Finally, I have a job. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello, we're from the police station. Police? What's wrong, officer? We just found out that you have a... Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I'm sorry, Amara, I can't do that. Can't? Why? Because I... Because I'm not from this world. Huh? Not from this world? Then where are you from? I'm from space. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. Why isn't anyone saying anything? We're all shocked like you, Amara. We're not going to believe you, Jake, until you show us your spaceship. Spaceship? Why is everyone digging with their shovels? Because we're helping Jake hide his spaceship. Jake, say something! Do you still want to be friends with me, even though I'm not from this world? Yes, of course I do. I don't care where you're from. Okay, if so, come with me. I want to show you my spaceship. Here it is. Huh? This is your spaceship? But it's so small. How do you even fit in there? Oh, there's plenty of space. Trust me. Hey, you guys, you're high school kids, aren't you? What are you doing in school at this time? That's the school security. We need to hurry up and cover your spaceship. Yes, please help me. Thank you guys so much for the help. Hey, Jake, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you come to this world, since, you know, you're not from here? Because there's nothing in my world. I like it here more. And I never expected to make any friends, but now I feel like I belong oh, here. Oh, cool. Mom, there's already 100 people who voted for a safe world, but why is it stuck on 99%? That's because the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world. But why? Because the votes are very important. <sighs> okay, Mom, I'll be right back. I know exactly what to do. Hey, Jake, my mom said the last 1% had to be voted by someone who's not from this world, so can you vote, please? Amara, I told you, I really can't. <sighs> why not? If you don't vote, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I'll vote for a safe world. <sighs> See? Easy. It's not about it being easy. If I vote for your world, my world will be destroyed forever. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all your fault. I'm just joking. Look at your face. <laughs> Don't worry, this whole time, no matter what people voted for, both of our worlds will still be safe. As long as no one voted for the dangerous world, of course. Huh? I have to make five people become friends? What is this, mom? Yes, if you make five people become friends, our whole family will be rich and famous. <gasps> That's my dream ever since childhood. So what are you waiting for? Come on quickly, accept the challenge. Okay. I have to make my mom my friend. Mom! Are you looking for me? What do you need? Mom, I have to make you my friend in order to complete this challenge. Okay, if that's the case, I'll be your friend now. I didn't expect it to be this easy. Okay, who's the second person? Her? Huh? But Ava's my enemy. How am I going to be friends with her? Did you just say my name? Do you want to be friends with me? But I swear we've hated each other since childhood. You must have bad intentions. No, I don't. I promise. Okay, I'll be your friend, but I have some conditions. What are your conditions? You have to pay for my school lunch for the whole year, and if you don't, I won't be your friend. If I don't pay for her lunch, I won't get the reward, so I have no other choice. Yes, fine, I'll pay for your lunch. Here's for today's. Okay, we're finally friends. Charlotte, do you want to be my friend? Um, yeah, sure, you seem like you're kind. I don't see why not. How come it's this easy? Okay, who's next? teacher but my teacher's really messed up how can i be friends with her what's wrong amara 
Do you want to be my friend? I'll be your friend, but only if you clean up this whole class in three minutes. Three minutes? Okay. Done. Wow, that was quick. Well done. We're friends. Yay! Thank you so much, miss. Okay, one more person. I wonder who it could be. Dad? But I haven't seen my dad ever since I was little. I have to ask my mom for help. Mom, I wanted to ask you about my biological father. How many times have I told you not to speak about him? But mom, in order for us to be rich and famous, I have to be friends with him. He's the last one. Okay, in that case, come with me. Yes, I can finally meet my dad. Thanks, mom. But remember, no hugs, okay? Okay. Uh, mom, where's dad? He's right there, honey. Choose between the smart egg or the strong egg. If I choose the smart egg, that means I'll get the highest grades in class. Mom, I chose the smart egg. I'm gonna eat it now. No, honey, don't. Why not? You have to wait until later, otherwise it won't work. Okay. Oh, look who it is. It's the stupid girl. Not only stupid, she's ugly too. And you guys think you're prettier than me? Of course we are, and smarter too. Not for long, because guess what? I have the smart egg. What? How did you get that? It's super rare. Don't worry. Good morning, everyone. We have a biology test, okay? But, sir, you didn't tell us about it. I know, but you should always study, not only when you have a test. Sir is so annoying, but I have nothing to worry about anyway. I can just eat my egg right before the test. Amara, what are we going to do? We're so going to fail this test. Don't worry. I chose the smart egg this morning, so as soon as I eat it, I'll help you with the answers. Really? But that egg is so rare. You're so lucky. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. Let me just... Wait, where's the egg? Are you looking for this one? <laughs> Stephanie, give it back! And let you be the smartest in class? Not a chance. <laughs> what are we going to do now? No one's going to believe that she stole my egg. I have an idea. We make her confess again while recording her. Once everyone sees the video, she'll be forced to give you the egg back. That's genius. She's right there. Okay, start recording now. Oh no, my phone's not letting me. It says storage full. Wait, haven't you heard of Smart Cleaner? Smart Cleaner? What's that? Smart Cleaner allows you to free up your storage without having to delete things manually. It can easily detect and delete duplicate photos and screenshots with just one click. I had so many duplicate photos that I didn't even know was there. This was my storage before and after I used the app. Oh, my phone has so much storage now. This is perfect. Thank you so much. No worries. Now, are you ready to get your egg back? Let's go. Choose a close pimple or far away pimple. What does this mean, mom? The pimple will show how far or close your soulmate is. Whoa, because I want to find him, I'm going to choose the close pimple. Wait, are you sure? Because once you choose, you can't change your mind again. Yes, I'm sure, mom. I'm ready for school. Whoa, that's a fat pimple. Pimple? What do you mean? My face is smooth. Whoa, it really is a pimple. I can't go to school like this. It's okay, you should be proud. That means your soulmate's close. True. How come her pimple's different from the others? Don't get close to her. Why is everyone talking about my pimple? Doesn't everyone get pimples like mine? Because... Don't tell her. Let her find out herself. Why can't she tell me? Amara, your pimple's red. It should be black. Black? Why not red? The red pimple means your soulmate's in danger and you're absolutely not allowed to meet him. He's in danger? That means I have to save him. Amara, you can't. But if I don't save him, that means I'll be single forever. Babe, are we going to watch that movie tonight? Sorry, but we have to break up. You have a fat pimple and I'm embarrassed to be seen with Why? you. Why? It's just a pimple. It's normal. Well, your pimple is red and I'm not in danger, so it means I'm not your soulmate. <gasps> Wait, I just got another pimple. That means my soulmate's getting closer. Once you get five pimples, that means your soulmate's really close and you can finally meet him. That means there's three left, right? Do you know anything about red pimples? Yes, it's a sign that he's in danger and only you can save him. Amara, your pimples, you have to cover them. But sir, if I cover them up, I won't know how close or far away my soulmate is. You haven't tried, so you don't know. Why is sir trying to make me cover up my pimples? I don't want to cover them up yet, sir. Amara, I got some more information about your pimples. Shh, be quiet before anyone hears you. Red pimples are only given to a selected people. Selected people? What do you mean? Was that the bell? I have to go. I have some important business to do. 
Mom, I'm home. Why are you home so early? You've only been at school for two um, hours. Because I was kicked out by the teacher. Okay, well, I have to tell you something. Mom, I already have five pimples. That means my son is really close. Excuse me. That must be him. Wait, don't open the door. Choose glasses that can see people's last drink or last meal. Last drink, because I want to know who drinks my coffee in the morning. Amara, why haven't you left your room yet? You're going to be Mom, late. I know. I'm leaving now. Okay, hurry up. Wait for me to drink coffee first. What? How come my coffee mug is empty again? Did you drink the coffee that was on my table, Mom? It wasn't me who drank it. I don't even like coffee. You don't like coffee? It was you who drank it. Your last drink is coffee. What? How did you know that? I'm not going to tell you. Here, make me another one. Let's go to school. We're about to be late. Okay, sis. I'll be ready soon. Sewage water? You drink sewage water? Yes, because sewage water makes us more beautiful. No, it doesn't. Who told you that? My best friend. She drinks sewage water all the She's time. She's lying to you. No, she would never do that. She's my best friend, so I trust her. I have a really stupid sister. Hey, bestie. Hey. Did you know we're going to have to donate blood tomorrow again? Another blood donation? Didn't we donate blood last week? Yes, but there's a lot of people who need blood out there, Amara. True. Oh yeah, I just found out. My sister's still drinking sewage water. Just leave her. Maybe she likes the taste of it. What? I have a sister who likes to drink sewage water and a friend who likes to drink fish pond water. Amara, you're donating blood again tomorrow, right? No, sir. I'm not going to because I already did last week. If you're selfish and don't want to donate your blood, you can't come to school again. Okay, fine. I'll donate blood again, but just please, don't kick me out of the school. I heard tomorrow the principal's son will help with the blood donation. The principal's son? Is he a doctor? Yes, he's a doctor who graduated from Harvard. He's so hot, so stay away from him. He's mine. How do you expect him to date someone who drinks fish pond water? What? No, I don't. I'm going to go to bed early, so I'm ready for the blood donation tomorrow. Hey, sis, did you drink any water yet? Yeah, I did loads. Did you? Yes, my friend said that toilet water makes our faces glow. It's so hard having a sister who's this stupid. Mom, Amara called me stupid. Good morning, mom. I'm going to school. Okay, honey, I prepared lunch for you. Thanks, mom. Why does your school always have blood donations anyway? I don't know. They have them every week. Maybe the blood stocks in the hospital are running low. Maybe. Class 11C. Amara, what class did you get? I got 11C. Exchange with me, please. Why? Because the principal's son will be there. In that case, no, I'm not exchanging. I'm curious, how handsome could the principal's son be? Excuse me, I didn't mean to bump into you. You're the principal's son, right? Nice to meet you, I'm Amara. I'm Dr. Tyson, I have to go because I have a lot of things to prepare. His last drink was from my blood donation last week. What kind of human is he? Um, choose between the white bottle or the gold bottle. I choose the gold one. I wonder what power this one's going to give me. I disappear when I hold my breath. Interesting. Mom, I... Honey, can you go to the shop for me and buy some vegetables? Amara, where did she go? Yes, she can't see me. <sighs> Finally, I can breathe again. What power did you get? I can disappear when I hold my breath. Oh, cool. Every time I sneeze, I fly. Why are you talking to Jason? He's so weird. Weird? What do you mean? He doesn't let anyone go to his house because he says his mom is fat. But his mom is fine. But Jason seems pretty normal to me. I have to prove it myself. Jason, I'm coming to your house later. No! What? Why? You don't want anything bad to happen, do you? Anything bad to happen? I have to disappear and enter Jason's home. Short life or an illegitimate child? I don't want to live a short life. I'll just choose the illegitimate child. I can just put it in an orphanage or something. Mommy! Wait, how come you don't look like me? Listen to me carefully, okay? I'm not your mom, and today I have a really important job interview, so stay away from me. Mommy! I already told you, I'm not your mom. You're a Mara, right? Yes, sir. So you're married, right? Not yet. But it's written here, you already have one child. How did my personal data change? That means you're a single parent? Yes, sir. Something like that. All right, in that case, you got the job. Wait, really? Thanks so much. Finally, I have a job. Who's calling me? 
Hello? Hello, we're from the police station. Police? What's wrong, officer? We just found out that you have a... Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I'm sorry, Amara, I can't do that. Can't? Why? Because I... Because I'm not from this world. Huh? Not from this world? Then where are you from? I'm from space. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. Why isn't anyone saying anything? We're all shocked like you, Amara. We're not going to believe you, Jake, until you show us your spaceship. Spaceship? Why is everyone digging with their shovels? Because we're helping Jake hide his spaceship. Jake, say something! Do you still want to be friends with me, even though I'm not from this world? Yes, of course I do. I don't care where you're from. Okay, if so, come with me. I want to show you my spaceship. Here it is. Huh? This is your spaceship? But it's so small, how do you even fit in there? Oh, there's plenty of space, trust me. Hey you guys, you're high school kids, aren't you? What are you doing in school at this time? That's the school security, we need to hurry up and cover your spaceship. Yes, please help me. Thank you guys so much for the help. Hey Jake, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you come to this world, since, you know, you're not from here? Because there's nothing in my world, I like it here more. And I never expected to make any friends, but now I feel like I belong oh, here. Oh, cool. Mom, there's already 100 people who voted for a safe world, but why is it stuck on 99%? That's because the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world. But why? Because the votes are very important. <sighs> okay, Mom, I'll be right back, I know exactly what to do. Hey Jake, my mum said the last 1% had to be voted by someone who's not from this world, so can you vote please? Amara, I told you, I really can't. Why not? If you don't vote, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I'll vote for a safe world. See? Easy. It's not about it being easy. If I vote for your world, my world will be destroyed forever. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all your fault. I'm just joking, look at your face. <laughs> Don't worry, this whole time, no matter what people voted for, both of our worlds will still be safe. As long as no one voted for the dangerous world, of course. Vote for a safe world or a dangerous world? I vote for a safe world, of course. Why didn't it? It doesn't work like that. Everyone gets to vote and the one with the most votes gets picked. You have to convince everyone to vote for a safe world. Because if this world ends, it's all your fault. <sighs> Why my fault? Because it's all in your hands. Okay, this should be easy. Surely everyone wants to live, right? No one really wants this world to end. Okay, positive thinking. You can do this. Jake, you have lots of girlfriends, right? Please help me. Help you with what? Tell them to vote for a safe world. I only need a hundred people to vote. Okay, fine. I'll help you. Okay, hurry up, go. I didn't mean now. I have basketball. Can't back. you just cancel? This is really important. All right, fine. I'll cancel. Yay. Thank you. Hey, Emma, will you tell everyone to vote for a safe world? Why should I help you? She's my friend. Hey, Jake. Okay, if she's your friend, I'll vote for a safe world now. Tell your friends too. Yes, of course. Girls, vote for a safe world. Thank you so much. Ew, don't touch me. I'm only doing this for Jake. Jake, thank you so much. Because of you, I've got 50 votes in already. Why aren't you saying anything? I've helped you enough. I really need to get to basketball practice. Bye. Wait, can I join you at basketball practice? I can just ask all your friends to vote for a safe world. There's going to be lots of people there, right? Okay, just hurry up. Guys, please help me vote for a safe world so we can all live. I'll only vote if you become my girlfriend. Okay, uh, vote first, then I'll answer. It don't work like that. Answer first, then I'll vote. Vote for a safe world, otherwise I'll get you kicked out of this basketball team. Uh, yes, Captain. I'll vote for a safe world now. That's it. We've all voted for a safe world. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll treat you with some water bottles. Hey, um, can I please have 50 water bottles? Yes, of course. Wait, why is there only 99 people who voted? I swear there was, like, more than 100 people who voted. Here's your drinks. I put them in a box so it's easier to carry. Thank you. Oh, yeah, miss. Can you please help me vote for a safe world? Yes, of course. Thank you. Wait, how come the number didn't change? It's stuck at 99%. Is everything okay? Yes, miss. Everything's fine. Thanks for the water. I'll pay you later. Bye. Hey, Jake, I'm curious. You also voted for a safe world, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. He helped me get a lot of people vote for a safe world, but he never voted himself. Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I can't, Amara. Can't? Why? It's because I...
Because I'm not from this world. Huh? Not from this world? Then where are you from? I'm from space. <sighs> You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. Why isn't anyone saying anything? We're all shocked like you, Amara. We're not going to believe you, Jake, until you show us your spaceship. Spaceship? Why is everyone digging with their shovels? Because we're helping Jake hide his spaceship. <sighs> Jake, say something! Do you still want to be friends with me, even though I'm not from this world? Yes, of course I do. I don't care where you're from. Okay, if so, come with me. I want to show you my spaceship. Here it is. Huh? This is your spaceship? But it's so small, how do you even fit in there? Oh, there's plenty of space, trust me. Hey you guys, you're high school kids, aren't you? What are you doing in school at this time? That's the school security, we need to hurry up and cover your spaceship. Yes, please help me. Thank you guys so much for the help. Hey Jake, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you come to this world, since, you know, you're not from here? Because there's nothing in my world, I like it here more. And I never expected to make any friends, but now I feel like I belong oh, here. Oh, cool. Mom, there's already 100 people who voted for a safe world, but why is it stuck on 99%? That's because the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world. But why? Because their votes are very important. <sighs> okay, Mom, I'll be right back. I know exactly what to do. Hey Jake, my mum said the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world, so can you vote please? Amara, I told you, I really can't. <sighs> Why not? If you don't vote, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I'll vote for a safe world. <sighs> See? Easy. It's not about it being easy. If I vote for your world, my world will be destroyed forever. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all your fault. I'm just joking, look at your face. <laughs> Don't worry, this whole time, no matter what people voted for, both of our worlds will still be safe. As long as no one voted for the dangerous world, of course. I have to choose between going to the bowels of the earth or the end of the earth. Mom, which one's safer? Honey, I recommend going to the bowels of the earth. Don't go to the end of the earth. There's many wild animals there. The bowels of the earth? Since no one's ever been there before, I'll be the first. I can't wait for my trip to the bowels of the earth. It's only 24 hours away. Wait, what did you say? Bowels of the earth? Yes, why? It's very hot there. There's no way you could survive. You'll die as soon as you get there. How do you know? No one's ever been there. Oh yeah, right. I'll look for more information about it because you're my friend. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Whoa, you said you were going to the bowels of the earth. That's so cool. Yeah, that's right. I'll be the first person to go there. At the same time, you'll be the first person to die there. <laughs> Honey, you have to bring these things with you. I prepared a bag. What's in the bag, Mom? Just take it with you. Don't open it until you get to your final destination. You're sure it's safe to go there, right? Yes, it's very safe. Don't worry. Here, for you, Amara. What is this? Death flowers. Guys, come on. I'll be fine. Let us know later if you're still alive. <sighs> Whatever. Honey, did you forget I'm allergic to flowers? Who gave them to you? <sighs> My friends, Mom. They're making fun of me because I want to go to the bowels of the earth. If so, throw them away. <sighs> That's probably them. They're here to make fun of me again. Oh, hey babe, why didn't you tell me you were coming? We have to break up. What? Why? I can't be with you, you chose the bowels of the earth. Why don't you come with me? We can get married there. What are you saying? Nothing can survive in the bowels of the earth. I'm gonna have to find another girl. Amara, I found information about your trip. You actually went to find it? Yes, it says there's a city that only certain people can enter. And what are these certain people like? Because yesterday you chose the bowels of the earth, you're not one of those people. Whoa, does that mean I'm a special child now? Goodbye, Amara. Good luck in heaven. Rest in peace, Amara. People don't know that there's a city there. I'll prove to them that I can survive. Hey, when you go to the bowels of the earth, can I come with you? Who are you? Little kids can't come. I've been there many times. What? Yes, every week I always go to the bowels of the earth. That's a lot of flowers. <sighs> yeah, they're from my friends. Oh, look, I only have a few seconds left before I leave. Three, two, one. Excuse me, do you know where- Do you have an access card? Access card? Yes, show me it right now. I'm sorry, but um, I don't have an access card. Only people with an access card can get in here. Please give me some time to go back and find it. Okay, I'll give you an hour. Huh? Only an hour? I mean, thank you, sir. I knew she was too scared to go to the bowels of the earth. Yeah, what do you think? No one dares to go there. Not everybody can. Only special people can go there. Mom, how come you're not at the bowels of the earth? I didn't have an access card. Why are you like this? Didn't I tell you to take this bag with you? I must have dropped it. Good thing they gave me another chance to come and get it. You should be able to take care of yourself there. 
I will, Mom. Please show me your access card. Here you go. Please come in. Welcome to the bowels of the earth. He's not even going to check my bag. Oh my gosh, it's so far away from the earth. He is like 10 times more advanced. Is that a flying car? And flying animals too? Hey, I've never seen you here. Reveal your identity. My identity? Okay, one second. Whoa, you're from London. That's so far away. Anyway, we welcome new people here all the time. Where should I go? I wasn't given a map or anything. Everyone here is just staring at me. Creepy. Hey, my name's Aria. Hi, I'm Amara. I'm from Earth and I'm new here. Do you know where you want to live yet? No, I don't know how things work here. You can stay at my house. That way we can get to know each other more. Okay, sure. So, this will be your room. It's perfect. But, um, I just want to let you know that I can't pay you any rent. I don't have a job yet. You're a special person, so you don't have to pay. People here are so nice and friendly. Is that your bag? Let me pack it away. Whoa, what do you even have in this bag? What are you doing? Why are you touching my things? You're crazy. I need to get out of here. There's no way you can get out because I have this tool and it can remove those in an instant. The door is back. Hurry up. Get out. Thank you for helping me. How did you get to the bowels of the earth? I told you. I come here often. I'm here to take care of my brother. Come with me. Let me show you your house. Whoa, it's huge. Yeah, this is where you'll be living. I live just around the corner. If you need any help, just call me. Here's my number. Okay, thank you. Love Apple or hate Apple? Mom, what does this mean? You can see how much people love you or hate you. Then I choose the hate Apple so I know who hates me. Hey, I have an exam later. Can I use your answers to cheat? Yeah, of course. Thanks, Amara. Wait, you hate me? How does that have to do with anything? Even though I consider you my friend, I'm not going to help you. This is why I hate you. You're so greedy. You never help anyone but yourself. She's so annoying. She became second best in class because of me and she's so ungrateful. Babe, why so angry early in the morning? Hey, babe. Come, let's go to the canteen together. We've been dating for years and you secretly hate me? Why? Because of your face. You look like my ex. I look like your ex. If that's what you thought from the start, then why did you ask me to be your girlfriend? You ate the hate apple, didn't you? What? How do you know? I know everything. Basically, if people's hatred level lows for a long time, it means they really hate you. You have to be careful around that person. Why do people around me hate me so much anyway? I don't hate you. If you ever have a problem, you can talk to me, okay? You don't seem to hate me. Because I love you. I want you to be my second wife. Second wife? Yes, do you want to be? Uh, I have to go, sir. My stomach hurts. Hey, loser. <sighs> you again. Why do you keep bullying me? Because it's fun. You don't hate me? Yes, I do. Why are you asking that? <sighs> no, you can't lie to me. You don't hate me, do you? Well, to be honest, all this time I pretended to bully you. I just wanted to get your attention because I really like you. Do you want to be my uh... girlfriend? Thanks for liking me, but I can't date. My mom doesn't let me. I have to go. Bye. Amara, you know there's a really handsome student that joined us from America. From America? What's he doing here? He said he ran away from his family because they were fighting a lot. I feel sorry for him. Me too. Where's the new kid? Just a suggestion. Don't get close with the new kid. Why? We have to be nice to our new friend. You didn't know he's a mafia boss in America. Wait, really? Yes, that's why I'm telling you not to get close. Hello everyone, I'm the new student. Who wants to sit with your new classmate? I do. Okay, go sit next to her. Hi, nice to meet you. Your name is Amara, right? Wait, how comes he knows my name? We just met. Breathe through a mask or breathe through a bottle? Breathing through a bottle is weird, so I choose mask. Hey mom. Wait, you chose to breathe through a mask too? It wasn't me who chose. The choice was given to a random person and now everyone has to breathe through a mask. So, you're saying everyone has to wear a mask now? Yes, because the air is toxic. Who chooses to breathe with a mask on? It's so annoying. If you don't like it, why don't you just take it off? I can't do that. If you take your mask off, you die. Really? So, how long do we have to wear these masks for? Forever, Mara. I'm really annoyed with the one who chose the mask. Right? Like, why didn't they just pick breathing through our nose? That was impossible. The choice was between a mask and a bottle. How do you know? Was it you who chose? What? No, um, I was just guessing. Class, today we're going to be jogging around for half an hour. But how, sir? We're all wearing masks. 
Is there a problem? Yes, it's hard to breathe. Well, get used to it. I'm so tired. If I knew who chose to breathe through a mask, I would kill them. I hope they won't find out it's me. Don't be like that. Maybe they didn't know it would be like this. Okay, class. Now it's time to sleep. Since when are the sleep lessons, sir? Since today, because wearing a mask is tiring. Now please make your way to class. I just want to take this off. Do not remove that mask. The air outside is toxic. Why aren't you wearing a mask? I thought the air was toxic. Because there's a way not to wear a mask. How? You need to take off three masks from three of your friends and then give them to me. You can sleep in this class for one hour. Sir, can I not sleep? Whatever, this is your only chance to rest. Don't worry, sir. My breathing is strong. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, I've taken off Sarah's, Hannah's and Samantha's masks. Oh my gosh, why are their masks off? Amara, you were the only one who didn't sleep. What happened to them? Are they dead? How come their masks are off? Honey, are you okay? I took off three of my friend's masks and now they're all dead. What? Why would you do that? You do know that it's a crime, right? Some old lady told me to. Are you insane? You can't just trust strangers, Amara. Are you happy? Three of my friends died because of you. I didn't mean to. Take off your mask now. What? You have to feel their suffering. If you don't take it off, we'll take it off for you. Okay, okay, relax. I'll take it off. I hope I can still breathe. Otherwise, I did this for nothing. Oh my gosh, she actually died. Do you think we'll be caught by the police? Yes, let's just run away. Am I in heaven? Gosh, sis, I was so worried about you. Why did you take off the mask? Wait, so I'm not dead? I'm sorry, I took off the mask because my friends told me to. The three masks I took off my friends, why aren't they here? Thank you for helping me. What? Now you can be mask free for one day. One day? I thought you meant forever. Yeah, but for that, you need to give me the three masks you took off your friends. You never gave them to I me. I forgot where I put them, but I'll bring them to you soon. Okay, here's my address. Hey, honey, why aren't you wearing a mask? I don't need to wear a mask. Thanks to that old lady. Did I not tell you not to speak to that old lady again? Where is she? She's right there. Wait, where is she? You have to be careful with that old lady. Don't be like me. What do you mean like you? Uh, just keep your distance from her. Are you okay, sis? I'm really worried. As you can see, I'm healthier than before. They all feel guilty for telling you to take your mask off, but they don't know you're still alive. Don't worry, I have plans for them. Wait, wasn't she dead? Maybe she's a ghost. I was saved by my sister, and thanks for trying to kill me, by the way. You guys are horrible. You're even more horrible. You killed three of our friends. Okay, class, today we'll be running for an hour and a half. An hour and a half? That's too much, sir. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You know what? At least I'll be fine. I can just run without a mask. You know what? It's fine. I'll participate. Me too, sir. Me as well. You guys ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, there's no one around. It's time for me to take my mask off. <sighs> I'm tired too. Oh, hi, Amara. Oh my gosh, do you think she just saw that? It's fine. Just take it off. Did you follow what the evil old lady said? Why are you calling her evil and how do you know her? Wait, are you serious? Everyone knows her. She's known for... She's known for collecting people's masks. Why is she collecting people's masks? The more masks she collects, the longer she can go without one. But why are you asking? No reason. Uh, I have to continue running. Bye. How come you can run so fast? <sighs> Let's just say I've had plenty of practice, so I'm used to it. You guys have 15 minutes left. I'm so tired. I just want to take off the mask. No, don't. Come on. We can do this. Finally, I can now take off the mask. Attention, all students who participated in the run has now fainted. Oh no, I can't get caught. Why are you the only one who didn't faint? Because, um, I'm used to running with a mask. Sure, that's the main reason? You didn't cheat, did you? No, sir, I'm not cheating. You know yourself, I work really hard to be the best student in class. Whoa, then you should be given additional points. Thank you. Three of your friends died again because they wasn't wearing masks. Huh? They died? This time, it wasn't me who did it. It wasn't me, sir. We all fainted earlier. How could you be the only one who did it? It can't be me. I've been speaking to sir this whole time. That doesn't mean anything. You're still a suspect, Amara. What? You should go home now before it's too late. What do you mean, mom? I'm still at school. There's many bad people around you. I know that, which is why I'm worried about you. Don't worry, mom. I can take care of myself. I need to go to that old lady's house to see what's going on. Where are you going? 
Um, somewhere you don't need to know. Your mom left a message. She said you need to go home right away. My mom must know my plan. Yes, I'll go home later. Do you want me to tell her? I'm going to pass by your house on the way home. No, no need. I can do it myself. Amara, just now, three of your friends died because their masks were removed. Do you think it's the old lady? I'm not sure. In order to save our friends, we need to go to her house, but I don't know her address. Don't worry, I already have the address. Why don't you take off your mask? Your mask free for the day, remember? Oh yeah, right. Who's calling? Pick up. No, I don't want to. It's your mom, isn't it? Yeah. Calm down, as long as you're with me, you're safe. True. We'll be arriving at the old lady's house soon. How is it so dark outside already and why do I feel so dizzy and breathless? You must have forgotten that you're only free of masks for one day. You tricked me! There's no point in being angry and also you're dying because I didn't bring any masks. I didn't bring a mask either! You're not gonna get away with this! Oh, I already have. 